Hey guys, Sphere back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 8th of April, 2022. Um, uh, secret finding, secret hunting, stuff and things, success. I had a lot of fun today uh, learning a few new things about WoW and just exploring and farming and it was really lovely. I hope you enjoy watching the VOD. If you'd like to catch me live, twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma is where you can do it. Add slash schedule onto the end of that and you'll find out when I go live in your time zone, conveniently converted, which is wonderful because I'm bad at converting times. If you check the description box below, you'll find links to affiliate programs, but also my social media, uh, particularly Instagram. If you wouldn't mind dropping me a follow over there, I would much appreciate it. It's literally like the next step on my path to full time. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is what it is. I hope you enjoy the VOD and I also hope that I'll see you in chat soon. Hi, welcome back. Here's another fear stream and today we are secret hunting. I'm so excited. I hope we can cross them off. Like if we can get them done that would be amazing. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let us begin with a battle. Once that link drops in chat, you know what to do. Click the link, log in with your Twitch account. And drag and drop your units to the battlefield. I have to place three tanks. There's one tank. Yay! How are we all doing? How are we all? Well done, Zamon first. Ah, oh, Chaos just missed out. That's okay, a couple minutes. Landar with seconds. Uh, thank you for the contributions to the TikTok A Tale for Two Challenge. Contributions from Meaty and Lady. Well done, Yori on last. Lady with third. Uh, yes, got third. You are indeed. Wonderful. Sim usually gets first look. Look, and Shiba usually guesses the mount makeup, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Hello, pet. How are you going? Welcome back. How's everyone stay going? My day has been very productive. I'm going well. I hope you all can say the same. Hello Extreme, welcome to chat. Just here to say hi and see your makeup look today. Well, hello. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to stick around if you'd like, but you can also look if that's more your jam. No worries at all. Hope you're having a lovely day. Don't go have a sneaky afternoon nap on my day off. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, your hair looks floofy. I just brushed it, so it's like, yeah, my hair is legit, like really, really thin. Like, like, look at this, right? That's that's half my hair, and then it just kind of, <sighs> boom. Yeah, it's um, it's a thing. Ah, uh, you Oh, thank you. I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. Pretty happy with it. Enjoy your lurk, Dunno. Hope work treats you well. Very fluffy hair. Afternoon. How goes it? Not too bad. How are you? Acid Belcher? No. So. So we have some, uh, it's, look, I, I don't mind it today. I quite like it. I quite like it. Um, so we have a pale purple in the, like, the, the inner corner a bit here. And then out here, it's a pale green. You can't really, like, again, cameras are not eyes. Um, but there is a difference. So there's, it's pale purple and then pale green. And then we've got, like, a deep purple, um, kind of blended out in the crease there. I quite like the effect. It's the, the, the light and the dark. Yeah, look, I'm... I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Same in this weather, eek. Uh, I own it. I own it, it flies. I own it and it flies. So, uh, here you go. Alrighty. Uh, secrets. Secrets, let us do a poll. Let us do a new poll. Which secret should we hunt, not be, we hunt, question mark. We have the bound Shade Hound. We have Jennifer, if I spell it correctly, which I have now failed to do twice. And we have the Sun Data Hatchling. We're gonna, we're gonna pop it for, for five minutes. And we're gonna go, there you go. You got five minutes to vote. While we have a chat, it, today. it does, it does fly. 
Gruesome flayed wing. Good fucking god, Shiva. <laughs> yes. It's the gruesome flayed wing. Um, so let me... You did spell it wrong, but, uh, yeah, gruesome flayed wing. So you've got the, the pale green that's, like, on the wings and in the eyes, and then you've got the pale purple, which is, like, most of its body, and then you've got, like, the dark... It's more of a dark blue than a dark purple, uh, but it, like... The rest of its body is just so purpley and stuff, it kind of, yeah, look. I also apparently don't have that shade in eyeshadow, so that's fun. Um, but there you go. That is, uh, I thought I had it, and I pulled out that shade, and then I discovered it was a metallic one, and I'm like, that is not going to look the right colour on the camera at all whatsoever. So there you go. That is, that is the mount of the day. Well done, Shiva. I can get in contribute your embers to the community goal. Yes, big love when Siki gets here and talks to you better than I. Well, <laughs> now indeed, seriously, go Shiba. Congrats, Shiba. What a guess, right? My God, thirty-two. Alrighty, don't forget to cast your vote on what secret we're gonna farm today. The the first secret we're gonna hunt. I'm hoping we can do more than one today, but we will see how we go. See how we go. Okay. So, the game that you have won is Aetherborn. Oops, I copied too much of that row, but that's fine. There you go. Congratulations. Well done, hurrah indeed, hey Kriv. How you doing? How you doing? That one sounds pretty. It is. So it comes from the special, uh, what's it? The uh, Covenant bullshit. So for me it was Ember Court. But it could also be Queen's Conservatory for Night Fae or the other things. Path of Ascension, I think it is, for Kyrian. And is it this? I don't think, it could be the Stitching Table. I don't know. I think it's the Stitching Table for, um, for Necrolords. So that's where that one comes from. Makeup is like what all of me addicting and sometimes frustrating. Every time, so Jas has a couple of times um, pulled his wordle open and I've helped him. And um, last time, he'd plugged his first word in, and he was like, mm, "I don't know what to, I don't know what to go next." I said, "Well, you've got these two confirmed. Like, you know, E is yellow, but if you put the E in the same place and then move the other yellow letter and then put." these three and you you cover I think the it was like covering it, I think he got a and e and I'm like try with h and t and like there was I covered like not h and maybe maybe h was a confirmed one but I covered like t s and another vowel with this word that I came up with he's like yeah but then the e's in the same place I'm like yeah but you also get to confirm or deny a vowel and two of the most common consonants and he's like yeah okay it's worth it and so it, it got him up and you know it, it did its thing and I'm, we're looking at it and then I've gone, it's tears. Like it's in tear gear. And he's gone, what? I'm like, yeah, pop it in. He's like, oh, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, pop it in. Green. <laughs> and he was just like, damn. Two guesses. Like he did the first, he had, he had done the first one, but two two guesses. And, um, and he was just like, holy shit, you really should do this. I'm like, no, I have too many things to do every day. I cannot add another thing to that list. I'm too goddamn busy and I will get addicted to it. And it will, no, nope, I have too much, I'm too busy. So I just help him occasionally. It's fun. I'm good at it. <laughs> I'm really good at it. When, when I have helped him, he, it's never gone past three guesses. Not once. Um... His guess you've ever had? No. No, he's guessed a couple first, like, first go. Um... Threw my embers in as soon as I got here. You did, so I didn't forget and get harassed! <laughs> we can't see who's done it for the day unless you scroll through chat, and then obviously chat has, like, a limit or anything, so... Like, no, no one should be harassing you, and if you don't want to see it, on then don't contribute. Like, it's okay. I get it. It's fine. Hello, back! How are you? How are you? That's what I do. Maybe I should turn the camera on once the Raven Lord mount. There have been a couple where like the first thing in chat is like MOUNT all in caps. I'm like, yes, Shiba. 
We're doing Jennifer. 91% of the vote for Jennifer. All right, let's do it then. By the sun well. There's no guide for it? Oh, good. Brilliant. Back with the sub. Thank you so much for the resub. Nearly a year, 11 months. That is amazing. Holy cow. Maybe they, maybe it is in here, but it's not. Not. That's right. That's what it's for. I'm surprised there's not a Jennifer thing for Tiger though. Uh, Celestia stayed year. Out of here. Enjoy your lurk, dupe. Enjoy your lurk. But I abomination factory. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. That's the one. I guess a friend of mine got Wordle in their first guess the other day. And the word was oh, trope. The sun well. and trope is a good first guess. It covers a lot of common bits. Oh! What is that? Sam, shiny button indeed. Thank you so much for the resub at tier three for 15 months. We've got four minutes left to trigger a hype train if anyone else has a resub button to push. Get y'all some emotes. Uh, it's impressive. Love world because it's just once a day. If you can share your guesses without spoiling anything. It is very cool. It is very cool. Uh, once trace or trade is up forward, I'll get it first time. Yep. Yeah. And you know that if you alternate between the two, the time that you use one, like the time that it is, you'll be using the other one and it'll be two guesses. That's hilarious. Ah, uh, there is a wowhead guide. There's always a wowhead guide. I was just hoping I'd have like an in-game guide so I wouldn't have to keep referring to something off screen, but that's okay. I'm not too perturbed by this. Okay. Hi, the sun well. Oh, Landa! With the gifted sub, congratulations to Burrows. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. And we have a hype train. We have a hype train. If you want to uh, grab yourself a conductor badge or if you want to unlock some hype train emotes. Now is the time to do it. Now is the time to do it. All right, so. Amara Lunastar can be found in Ashenvale. If you interact with her, you'll be given the following dialogue and dialogue option. Speak with her and choose the dialogue option to proceed to the next step. So Ashenvale, the quickest way. Nope, that's the wrong bloody, what's it? Ashenvale's probably going to be, um, uh, to, uh, bugger it, I'll just fight it. I was thinking about going to, um, like, the taking the Darkshore portal, but if it's not up, like, bugger it, let's just go to walk. It's going to be easier that way. Choo-choo, indeed. Level three hype train. My gosh, that's probably because Zams was a tier three sub. Level three hype train. Three and a half minutes to push it to level four if you are looking to unlock some level four emotes rather than level three or below. Uh, okay, so we're gonna pop uh, this in. And get cracking on Jennifer. Day maybe I'll learn how to write my own Zygor guides, um, but today, not today, and probably not for the next few months. Oh goodness gracious! So how is everyone? What's going on? What's going on? I had a very interesting um, Zoom call today. Brief. Free for only about 15 minutes, but um, it was a- Ah! Yuri! With the cheer! Much appreciated! Look at you, gonna earn yourself a conductor badge! Thank you very much for the biddies! Much appreciate. Still in bed? That's okay. Not a worry at all with that. Ordered a 12 bag of powder for my fave dip. 
So is it like you add water and it turns into like a dip for chips? Is that what I'm... Because the other thing I'm thinking of is like dip powder nails and I'm not sure if that's something you're into. You add sour cream. Okay. All right. So it is an edible dip, not a, not a different kind of dip. Good. I have never... Like I can imagine... I can imagine like catering companies and stuff using like a, a powdered dip or whatever, but I don't, I've never seen a powdered dip ever that you add anything to. That's really interesting. That's kind of funky. Lip, wonderful. I mean, you could put dill on your nails. Have I shown you guys my new nails? I redid them on Tuesday and I filmed it for my, cause one of the, one of the partner friends I have was like, I need to see how you do your nails. And then she couldn't make it. And so I filmed it for her, but it had a whole bunch of like private discussions and conversations and stuff in it, in the background while I was doing it. So it's not going to be publicly shared. Um, but yeah, I did them on Tuesday. Um, Maylee, choose your mount Maylee. Good. Uh, Maylee the Wanderer. It's a pretty mount. Once I hit ground, I'll do the thing. Uh, I get dizzy every time I get up, so bored and frustrated. Oh, bugger, meaty. Yeah, I was really thankful when um, when I had my first round of surgery and I was totally screwed for that. For, like, because this, this round of surgery, I got sick, like, with the, the complications. But the first round, I was just zonked and I couldn't, I was just constantly falling asleep and then waking up and falling asleep and all that kind of stuff. I was really thankful that that was just, like, three or four days after... Hearthstone had released Mercenaries mode, so I just sat, like, lay down in bed playing Hearthstone on my phone the whole time. Um, and also, having the Switch. Very grateful that I have that, because I can play that in bed. <laughs> oh, dearie me. One moment, please. Hype train success! Woo! Boogie down. Good. Okay. I've gone past it. Uh I received a level two hype train emote. Hype fail. Good. Fantastic. Love that. Love that. Choo choo. Speaking of makeup, Amber Primal Diahorn. Um, that was, uh, wasn't that what, was it Wednesdays? I think it might have been Wednesdays or maybe Mondays. But no, today it's the gruesome flayed wing. Uh, all right. Sorry. Catching up on chat now that that's been handled. Um, you can get French onion powder. Oh, I didn't know that. I knew you could get like French onion, like soup powder. And I guess you could mix that with stuff to make a dip, but it's not the intake, like it's not dip powder. It's soup powder that people can use off label to make dip, you, like, unless I'm thinking of the wrong product. Uh, you should put sour cream on your ass. I mean, you absolutely can. It won't stick around for very long, but you absolutely can. Working around for me, just in the middle of a meat baby back. Yay, fantastic. Top is especially nice and makeup today. Thank you, Ice. I appreciate that. This is a top from, that was purchased for me from Throne. Was one of you lot that that did the buying thing? Give me a second. Let me double check who it was. Because I'm my brain. It doesn't do the worky thing very well. I don't remember very many things. Uh, this one was from Anonymous. This one was from Anonymous. There you go. It's just different songs. I remember they recently saw something sort of immediately went to Amazon. I have a and Brie. Delicious. Speaking of makeup. Num. I know why in the kitchen chilies use pepper make the ranch was when I got addicted to ranch it was really available. Oh no. Playing on your iPad a lot. Yeah, that's fair. I like the pebble too. Great combo. Thank you. Thank you. I really like this look today. It's kind of funky. It was sketchy. Anons, right, Sari? We love, I love my Anons. Like, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Thank you, Chrome, for your contribution and for everyone who's been contributing to the goal today. We've got to get to 75% to keep on track for the week. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out for it. There we go. Step one complete. 
Crazy Cat Lady and Empty Dish. This step is confirmed to be optional. Feel free to skip this step entirely and go straight to Karazan from Amara. Okay, if it's... that's fine. Let's go to Karazan. Bits of kibble can now be found within the Legion dungeon. Return to Karazan near the opera event. You must have interacted with Amara to see the kibble as well as have cleared the opera event. Be sure to kill the opera event bosses slowly as to not bug them out. Two sets of the kibble have been found with four kibble pieces in each set. Kibble is very similar to that which can be found in Elwyn Forest near Donny Athania and cannot be interacted with in any way. Purpose of these sets of kibble is to mark the area of the map which is to be used as a template for a staff to place notes upon. With four pieces in each set, the piles are meant to represent a 4x4 four four time signature. What? Okay, so I need to go to Kara. Let's, let's just... I'm trying to read through the whole step at once, and this step is a really goddamn long step. They didn't break it down very well. So... Um, going to stone it. I'm just going to read it thing by thing. So, we got to kill Opera. Step Next step is kill Opera. Step one! Yes! Speaking of step one, my final post for the step one campaign is going up tomorrow night. And I'm anticipating... I'm anticipating some, uh, some interesting interactions because of the image because of the photo it's a it's a gorgeous photo i like as soon as jess showed me the photo on his camera i'm like that's it that's the shot like where that's it campaign over that's the goddamn shot if it's not the best shot of the whole bloody campaign from ggwp i would be very surprised it's it's amazing i love it so much but it is a full body shot and i'm in manda pants so <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of expecting that shit's going to go a little bit sideways. So I would be ever so grateful. Like, I'm not kidding. Ever so grateful. If, uh, so it is, it's, um, I think it's going up at around 9.30 on Twitter and then 10 p.m. on Instagram. And it'll go up on Facebook as well because Instagram shares through to Facebook. Um, but it's Instagram and Twitter that I'm, like more focused on um if you wouldn't mind obviously tossing me a follow on those platforms because like what you doing if you haven't uh but when if and when you see the post if it's in your feed or if you go and hunt it out yourself personally or whatever um if you could chuck it a like and maybe a positive comment um <laughs> And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. This is massively self-promotion. This is me literally asking you to give me good things on, on socials. I get that. It's a little bit dodgy. But at the same time, I would very much like, I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure how the comments are going to go. I'm really not. Because I know I'm not, I'm not a fucking model. I get it. I know that. I'm aware of my body. I live in it. Every day, funnily enough. Uh, and so, you know, it is what it is. This is where I'm at at the moment in my health and fitness journey. This is what I look like. Some people might take issue with that. And if they do, that's fine. They're entitled to their fucked up opinions. <laughs> but I would really, really appreciate if there were like more positive comments than there were negative. Because if there's a ton of negative comments, chances are step one or anyone else who looks at my participation in that campaign a prob's not going to want to work with me so that's kind of yes that's a thing that i am gonna say good wonderful yes working on jennifer ice oh my god koalatron with the post and then the timed but like the reaction to the command and then the timed post that's hilarious Oh, hello, Crumb. Love Jennifer. Awesome. Personally, I feel the last step of Jennifer was made easier by the devs after all the stupidity trying to solve it. Potentially. Potentially. I mean, they may have been like, God, are they ever going to solve it? And they're like, mm, maybe we should help them out a little bit. And that's, you know, that's their decision to make. Um, that's their choice. That's okay. We're going to see a jazz butt. Internet will go wild. No, you're not going to see a jazz butt. It's just me. Me and Boba, actually. It's me and Boba. We proudly 
It's a lot of grudge against Jennifer how long it took and how it was eventually solved. Oh no. He is being Rudy? No. Very. So, step one is like boxer brief style underwear. So, as, as far as. And I'm wearing. It's a crop top. I'm not wearing like a, a super plunge bra or something ridiculous. And the cleavage that is created by my crop top is covered by boba. So, it is an incredibly tame underwear shot. But it still has a fair chunk of my body on display. And so, you know how the internet is. You know how it is. I'm. You know, I have my days where I'm not feeling super confident in my body. I'm sure that most of us do. Um, but some days I have a day where I'm like, no, I'm gonna rock this. This is what I look like. This is where I'm at. And I'm cool with that. And this shot, like, good lord. Just, I, look, not to, not to toot my, well, I'm absolutely tooting my own horn. It's, it's fucking hot. I love this photo. It's amazing. Um, and so I'm, I'm really, really happy that this is something that Jazz helped me create, but we'll see. The internet may not. The internet may have different opinions, and that's that's fine. That's their opinion. But uh, I'm I really like it. So. Okay. There we go. There we go. So, opera event. Two sets of kibble have been found with four kibble pieces in each set. So. Alright, they don't. It's not gonna give me links to put on the map, but that's okay. I can. Who are you? Pick it out this way anyway. Um. Yeah, nice citizen coming. Thank you, Landa. I appreciate it. Got your back. Thank you, Crom. And I'm I'm really sorry if anyone feels like this is a really dodgy thing for me to do, to like ask for positive comments on it. But like I I get it. I get it. It's not it's not exactly kosher. Um, but at the same time, this is this is how you support people. You know, this is how you support creators when they are involved in these advertising campaigns. You you interact and you you do the thing and. Yeah, this is, it's, it, look, it's underpants. It was never going to be, like, a super, it was never going to be, like, yeah, anyway. Did you mock them in the comments? No, no, just, just ignore them, I think is probably best. Because if the, again, if the negative comments get a whole lot of interaction, it'll push them higher on, like, the list of comments. It doesn't show comments in, um, in, uh, chronological order on Instagram. Um, usually it, sorts them roughly it's not quite perfect but roughly by like the top comments on there will be the ones that have been interacted with by the creator um once you get more than a handful of comments and then you'll have ones that are like higher in likes or higher in more like more comments and then yeah so and then just the like single comments with no replies or anything get sorted to the bottom usually so it's yeah it's a bit just just ignore them and drown them out i think is probably going to be the best bet all right, so there's meant to be there's meant to be kibble here. I am I'm literally in the right place. Am I? Unless they're like, oh, there we go. I see. I see. Teeny tiny. They're not interactable. So that's the first screenshot. That one there, the one, two, three, four. Um, on on the wow head. And then the second set is over by the next set of stairs. It's off. So you chose death today. Um, there they are. And that's, uh, that's them in that order as well there. So, one, two, three, four. Cool. Additionally, various foods can now be seen and interacted with in Return to Karazhan. There are 20 different items, and each falls into one of four food categories. Alcohol, fruit, bread, and meat, with five items in each category. These items can be picked up and contained in your inventory for five minutes and placed. Certain foods will be used as notes on the staff indicated by the kibble piles in the opera hall. 
<clears throat> Four confirmed spawn points for each food except for Meaty Morsel, which only has three. Most foods are located on or around tables throughout the dungeon. To save time, clear the area leading out of the Opera Hall to Maiden, then backtrack to Moreau's room and clear the areas along the way. The route we recommend starts in Morose's room. Assuming you have cleared the mobs as mentioned above, here you will find fishy bits, juicy drumstick, and two slathered rib, though you will only need to pick up one rib. Okay, I getcha. So it's got like a, a map here. <clears throat> And then place them. Okay. So we gotta do this fucking quick, eh? Alright, so we clear tomorrow's. I can do that. So first we're gonna clear this room. Um from a hundred percent. Is there food on the ground? Uh there's kibble on the ground over here. Our music, yas. Boba covering. Boba brilliant. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, no Jasper. Riot. Wait, Boba? Okay, on Riot. Yep. 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 Maybe. Maybe if you stick around to the end of the stream, I'll give you a sneaky peek. Maybe if you stick around, I'll give you a sneaky peek of the, uh, of the photo that's gonna go live. What, how do we, how do we, because I did that when we had the first, the first post going live for the campaign. Um, we did a sneaky peek, so maybe I'd do that for the last one as well. Maybe, maybe. Unriot, cool word, I love it. <laughs> also, hello Kaz, hello indeed. Unriot is a very cool word, I like it. I like it also. I'm just gonna keep clearing these rooms on the way to Maiden and Murrows while you guys watch the battle. Just cause, you know, we'll speed things up a bit. I'd like to get more than one secret done today. <laughs> But we'll see how we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm just, I'm so new to this, like, whole creating campaigns for advertising. And, you know, like, it's, it's very different to, like, creating posts for my own stuff. It's just, yeah, it's real different. Real different. It's full of its unnecessary opinions, correct. Correct. But my opinion is that step one underpants are fantastic and that everyone should have several pairs. <laughs> and so begin. You are all as corrupt as the guardian. It's really hard to follow. Yeah, look. There's a there's a picture of like the map with like the arrows pointing in the direction you should head in and then like logos of each of the items on each of the tables you need to pick up. Uh, and I don't really want to sit here and watch a YouTube video. Firstly, because watching a whole ass video and then having to backtrack and all that kind of stuff just irritates me. But secondly, um, that's somebody else's content that I don't have the authority to broadcast. So I don't want to get copyright struck either. Um, Ali, back and Zam, congratulations to you lot for your bonus shit. Uh, I'll be leaving a like and nice comment. Another Thank year. you, Chaos. I very much appreciate it. I wonder if Medivh will ever awaken. It's funny. It, um, like some of you have the same name on Twitch and on Twitter and on Instagram and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's such and such. But some of you have different names. And I'm slowly starting to pick up on little clues that like tie you together. Like, oh, that's such and such from Twitch. And it's really funny. Like my brain putting those things together. I find it entertaining, but that's, you know, that's fine. It's ridiculous. I see. Here, gotcha. Now you map this. How you map this to the answer is a great question. Oh dear. Draz with the sub. Much appreciated. 13 months total. Another month indeed. My gosh. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. We, we obviously got a couple sub bombs uh, about a month ago because we went from like 250 subs down to like 100. 90. So, so I'm like, oh, good. Um, yeah, watching that, like seeing the number climb high when we get like some bombs and stuff is like, oh my god, look at this, it's amazing. And then watching it drop when they expire, it's like, oh, 
I guess none of them wanted to continue it. Oh well. It's... <laughs> God, the life of streaming. It's, uh... Ups and downs. Ups and downs. Uh, first map of the route and placement positions in the upper hall are two important pieces of info you need. Yeah. Uh, placement of one to two items. You have one, one and a half minutes to place by the time you get back to the room, so you want to be aware of it. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, each item lasts five minutes in your bag and five minutes after being placed, and your opinion is necessary sometimes. Sometimes. So, yeah, I've got the map here. Um, so I've cleared to Maiden and up that room that I need up the end. Um, so now I'm going to head along. There's here. No, not there. That's fine. Um, here somewhere. It's the many bits. Strong arm stout. Is that, is that stout? That looks like meat. Oh, I'm confused. Maybe it's this table. No. There's stuff on the way as well. Gotcha. Is that it? That's the. Oh, that's stale loaf. Maybe that's a bread icon instead of a. That's fine. Is it. No, 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 no. So there's fishy bits, juicy drumstick, and two slathered rib. You only need to pick up one rib. Oh, there's pictures here as well. Okay, so there's one in Maru's room there, and there, and two on the table. Go back up the stairs, main room. Oh, it's on the carpet! Ew! Who left it on the carpet? There you go. Um, <laughs> and then, all right, so cool. There's, there's pictures. So there are pictures that I can follow as I go through the rooms. If I fail this the first time, I have more more tu more tunes. I have other tunes I can use, surprising nobody. Um, having another month in Diesel of the Chaos on Insta. Not the lady, that's okay. Yeah, my, my Insta handle is screwed as well. Need to get to that 10k so I can get me verified, get my proper handle. Twitch name not to be his guildies when they stream raids. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, having multiple handles across multiple places. Like, at least all of mine have Fiamma in them. They also all have Fiamma. Like, they have 29 because that was my old Twitch username. Um, but... Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. It's hard. Okay. I'll drag you out by your scruff. Mind your man. I fear that I am currently indisposed. Okay. Grab those just because I can. Uh, and so Enough of this. my Twitch name. Boy, yes. Correct. Magic. Appreciate that. Yes. Sad oh trumpet. Why you have the map with the bits? Some of them are hard to see. You're running a second familiar. Where the fuck did that little piece of shit go? Yes. Good. Uh, cat left it on the carpet. No. Delicious. Carpet meat. Mm mm. Yum yum. Good fun you have in your hair. Thank you! There's not much hair in it because I don't have much hair. But like, I was going, I was doing clips today. I was doing social media scheduling today. And I'm like, it was the the paladin. It's the paladin um, uh, clip. Jass is the Jassadin clip. And um, as I turn around to say, you know, that's going to be a thingamajig now. And I'm like, oh, I had that butt in my hair. And I'm like, I should do that again. I can do that I'm today. That one. That's the clip that went up today on, on all the socials. So, yeah. <laughs> like cat stooge and if it's a bit of a shithead, look. Look, there is no failure. I'm going to spawn, respawn after 20 minutes. Oh, good. So I just have to wait. Wonderful. That's awesome. I, th I, I thought maybe it was one of those things that it's like per lockout or, you know, like per raid lockout or whatever. Look, sometimes it happens. I then decided the stream was stealing my attention. Close Twitch. Attention seeking little bastard. Oh, no, matey. Oh, no. Forced to respawn, placing something on top of it. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, so here we go. We have one. We have two. We have. Oh my god, did I kill them all on top of it? No, I didn't. Maybe? Rib? I don't know what that is, but we'll take it anyway. 
Back up the stairs leading to Maiden's room. Marbled steak on the rug. One person has six followers, including me. Oh no. Marbled steak. Into the hallway leading to Maiden. Pick up the meaty morsel on the pedestal near the wall. Fishy bits near the wall opposite the morsel. Then we head into the room, I think. Yeah. And there's a bit behind here. And then a bit here. The foods using the map in images above, place them in the following locations on the opera hall floor. A juicy drumstick will be the first one I place. Okay, so those are the stairs. Wait, is it the other way? It's the other way. Never mind. Okay, so it won't. Uh, still a juicy drumstick. So, juicy drumstick goes there. Fishy bits. Yep. Slathered rib here. And then it's this one, and then this one, and then here is where I'm placing marbled steak. And then here is where I'm placing meaty morsel. Here is fishy bits here is marbled steak and here is juicy drumstick okay when it says jennifer meows loudly that is not a meow can we just say Use slash target Jennifer to find her quickly near the bottom left of the floor, then click on her to obtain Jennifer. Or just have fucking nameplates on. Like, literally. <laughs> so much easier. Good lord. So much easier. Okay. All right, so Amara's wish. Amara Strand is the Make-A-Wish kid behind the Jennifer secret. In fall 2017, she was diagnosed with an extremely rare and incurable form of liver cancer called fibr fibr fibrolamella hepatocellular carcinoma. Near the end of the hunt for Jennifer, she decided to use her Make-A-Wish as a force for good, starting the Jennifer Fund for Fibro Liver Cancer Research. Fibrolamella is an aggressive cancer that strikes teens and young adults. The primary form of treatment is surgery, and sadly, most patients don't live past the first year. Our society doesn't mobilize well against cancers that strike children, adolescents, and young adults. Um, according to the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation, since 1980, fewer than 10 drugs have been developed for, pedi for pediatric cancer. In the US, federal funding for pediatric cancers like fibrolamella is egregiously low. Only 4% of the billions of dollars used each year to study cancer is used to study pediatric cancers. In addition, federal funding for adolescent and young adult AYA cancers ages, 30 to, if, ages 15 to 30 receive even less than pediatrics. AYA federal funding is practically non-existent. Because fibrolamella is so rare and primarily affects the AYA age demographic, funding and research are minimal. With the Jennifer Fund for Fibro Liver Cancer Research, Amara wanted to change that. 
All donations go to Simon Labs at Rockefeller University to support the development of the first blood test for fibrolamella. This critically needed test will help detect fibrolamella early without relying on just a scan. So they go. Jennifer. <clears throat> and the new inventory is going to be fun. No, because the guide on Wowhead had the icons on the map the same as what the icons were in my bags. And my bags were empty to start with because I'm pretty good at doing that between streams these days. She baby cat get. Uh, music is nice. It is. It is. It's very obviously you have successfully completed the thing. Good job. Like, it's very obvious, but it's also not a meow. <laughs> Someone wanted secret discourse, took three goes, they didn't have names on and couldn't find them. You just turn your names on. Like, for this kind of stuff where you have to find NPCs and click them real quick and all that kind of stuff, good lord, just turn your turn your nameplates on. It makes everything so much easier. It was full when I did it and I was stupid. No, you're not stupid. You made a boo-boo. We're human, we make boo-boos. Um, actually, though, speaking of cancer research, um, now's a really good time to tell you we have a charity stream this month. Not for a while. It's on the 27th of April. So we're a few weeks out. I think it's one, two, almost four weeks. No, almost three weeks away. Not quite, but almost three. So the first Shah Farm stream is also going to be a charity stream. Uh, I had a charity reach out to me and ask if I would uh, help them in their campaign. Uh, April 27th is storytelling day for pancreatic cancer. Um, pancreatic cancer is one of the, it's still one of the deadliest cancers. The five year, like, survival rate is 8%. Five year survival rate, 8%. If you are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, there is an 8% chance you will live a further five years. That's ridiculous. What the hell? What the hell? Why is that still low? With all the science and stuff that we have, all the, the magnificent medicines and whatnot that we have access to and, and the groundbreaking studies and stuff that we have conducted on other cancers, why is that still so low? And they're trying to raise funds to find out why. Um, they have a, a whole uh, study that they've got conducting uh, conducted at the John... I've forgotten now. I, I should know it because it's a university in America which is like the, the the gold standard of forensics research and forensics degrees and stuff like that. And I have a forensics degree and it was like we talked about it a whole lot. One of my one of my um, uni friends actually went over there and did uh, a few weeks as like a research assistant with them um, when she started her honours. And I so I should know which university it is, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do some some fundraising and tell some stories about people, if you're okay with it, people in our lives who, not necessarily pancreatic cancer, but cancer in general as well, um, who have survived or who have, um, you know, what what they went through to, to get their diagnosis and all that kind of stuff. So look, we'll, uh, it'll be a good day. And, and we'll farm some char while we're at it, because why not? Why not? It's about as painstaking as as research can be, you, you try and you try and you try and, and it, it doesn't work. So you find something else and you try and you try and you try and it doesn't quite work. And so you find something else and you try and you try and try and eventually it works. And you find this breakthrough in cancer research. It's redonkulous and it's like, good Lord. So yeah, look, I mean that you can, you could potentially draw similarities between cancer research and shark farming, um, potentially. So that's what we're doing. Um, so I hope you'll join me, and the, the Bean Boozleds will make another appearance, because of course they will. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, John Hopkins! That's the one! Thank you, Chaos. Yep, John, Hop John Hopkins. Um, yep. That's the one. Okay, well that was quick. I was not- I was anticipating that would be a bit longer than it was, but that's okay. Um, let's end poll. Oh, could not end poll. Let's refresh then. Oh, I have a hydrate. I should do that. Pancreatic cancer is very much a B. It is indeed. It is indeed. I didn't know that. Um, they they emailed me and um, you know set out who they are and what they want to do and why. And I went and did my own research because that's what I do. Like if I'm going to represent a charity and do that, I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Um, and so yeah, I, I went through and I had a read of most of their website, had a couple of reads of their stories, and then I did some research on Australian websites. 
about the Australian statistics on pancreatic cancer, and it's not much better. The five-year survival rate in Australia is 11%. It's still, like, that's terrible. That's terrible. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can, we can make somewhat of a difference. Um, yeah. Mm. I'm really pissed off, by the way. Um, uh, so Twitch is removing the views statistic from the dashboard for like from from everywhere we want to make sure the stats you see are an accurate representation of your live audience and engaged community this stat as it exists today doesn't meet this standard so it only took into account views from the desktop so there was no like the desktop app or like mobile or blah 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 there's a whole bunch of places where twitch views didn't actually contribute the problem is i'm sitting on 494,237 views I was, I'm so close to hitting half a million and views are going away on April 14th. We've got six days, less than a week. Well, it'd be about a week and it'll disappear. So I've got a week to get 6,000 views and I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. Which really sucks because I would have loved to have hit that that half a million milestone. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. It's supposed to take longer. I spent six months trying to arrange, trying arrangements to the food to try to solve it. Yeah, I can. I'm in the secret hunting discord, the secret finding discord, specifically for like the pings for, for certain mounts and stuff like that. I, I can't. I can't contribute to the actual secret hunting, unfortunately. Um, it would consume my life. I, I get, you know, you when you get like a brain bug and it, it just eats away at you and you have to just sit down and get it done and you have to do it and you cannot rest. You can't do anything else because your brain will just be hyper focused until you do it. Yep, that's what I'd be like. I'm really struggling to type today. Um, so that's what I'd be like with secrets if I tried to participate in solving them. So I just, I know, I know my limits, so I just, I'm too busy. I can't, I can't help. Sorry guys, appreciate, massively appreciate the, uh, the amount of effort and work that everyone in there contributes and puts toward, like, good lord, I, I deeply appreciate all of you that are putting in this effort and work, but I cannot help. I just can't. I just can't. But if you can, if you have the time and you have a like a puzzle oriented brain, like a find what works sort of brain, then please do join the secret hunting discord and like help them find and solve these secrets. It would be very, very awesome for you to do that. But I just, I just can't. I just can't. Ah, uh, have a movie for Jennifer, maybe not want to play the game again. Oh no. Take a step back and just wait for the pings. Yeah. Yeah, I have, I have the, like, the conversation ones where they actually, like, have all the conversations about what's going on. I have all of those muted because I just can't even tempt myself. I can't do it. Vote. Which secret do you want me to find, uh, hunt next? Bound Shade Hound or Sun Data Hatchling? Cast your vote in the poll right now and then click the little embers uh, button beneath chat and click the banner that says TikTok a tale for two. Uh, this game is a puzzle game that requires two players. Each person can only see half the puzzle. So Jas and I are going to play and I'm probably going to end up throwing things at him. No, it's fine. We'll communicate well. It's fine. But that'll be entertaining. So if you want to see that next month, chuck your embers in for that. And then uh, follow me on socials because I'm doing that today. I'm going to be a shameless self-promoter because I have to. I'm a content creator now, and if I want this to be my job, then I need to do that. Um, I need to pay off my dentistry and then put some money aside for a laptop. I've decided on a laptop. Thank you so much to everyone who helped. I sent dad a massive long text about what I wanted, and he sent me back like, hey, you want to look for this, 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 and this. This would be nice. You don't need that. Um, and then I took that and started looking around and I was still, I, like it helped a lot and narrowed everything down like a lot, but then I was still a little overwhelmed. So that's when I posted in Discord today and Jack and Doofus with their comments was really, really helpful as well. So I have decided upon a laptop that I want and it's like, I think it's like 900 bucks. Um, and if I want to get like a, their, their one year like product care, I'm pretty sure that it has to come with a warranty anyway. But if I want to get like the, you know, when you buy the insurance or whatever, one year of insurance bumps it over a grand. Two years of insurance bumps it up 
to 1, 1,103 is bumps it up to like 1,200 bucks. And I'm like, do I actually need that insurance? Probably considering it's a business expense, but like, um, but yeah, so follow me on the socials. Interact with me if you're feeling generous. Gotta get, I'm up to 932 Instagram followers last time I checked. I need to get like a thing. Like a ticker on the the tr on the channel, like on screen somewhere, to like show you. Oh, I'm on one percent battery. What the hell is this photo? Good lord. Uh, my mother has taken a photo and posted it on Instagram with her foot atop my stepfather's head. Um... Cable. I was just a touch confused. Um... Yeah, nine hundred and thirty-two. <laughs> Get discovered by more people on Instagram. Boost your post. I don't, can't afford that. <laughs> I can't afford to pay for boosts. Otherwise I would have already and would have several thousand followers, maybe. Oh, goodness gracious. Um. Hmm, <laughs> I'm really sorry to see if it was Baal. Oh, awesome. Awesome, prevailing theory was adventures were involved somehow. It's why I'm convinced someone let the cat out on the solve. Yeah. Yeah. Um, going social media. Yes, throw a follow. I love it. I love it, Kaz. I think so. If someone going to play the game, solved it randomly. I don't believe it. Uh, I have two years statutory warranty under consumer protection. If you want the extra insurance, read carefully what it gives you. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Always. Um, it's a Harvey Norman thing um, is where I found the um what I wanted bum, ba -da -bum. it's product care one two or three years protection um, may not be available on all eligible products but it is on this one because it gives you the option to buy it computers certainty with the product care you have certainty your product is covered for a specific period of time for an eligible fault uh, cover for an eligible fault may include mechanical, electrical, and or electronic failure, which becomes apparent from normal use of your product over time or involves condensation, humidity, internal overheating, and dust. Uh, all freight and service call-out fees covered for an eligible fault, international coverage, transferable, and a 20-day free look. I don't know what that is. But, um, learn more about product care. You also apparently get a whole bunch of discounts. Like, you get a hundred photo prints each year. Um, an annual computer or mobile health check per year. That's what annual means, guys. Uh, and then you get a whole bunch of discounts off bits and pieces, which is kind of funky, but that's not what I care about. <clears throat> product care. Select your brand. Harvey Norman. Yeah, product care. On or after 4th October 2021. It would be, because I haven't got it yet. Um... Product care computers, relevant terms and conditions, computers. How many pages are you? 36. And most of them are coupons. So get like, that's kind of cool. Um, like the, the discounts and stuff are kind of funky. Um, applied a one-off replacement of your product. Sometimes editions found on page 26 to 27. It's not an insurance plan, nor are we insurers. It's a service plan supplied by us. Okay, so it's not insurance. Good to know. And then it's got, so it's the Australian Consumer Legislation. Uh, sorry, Australian Consumer Law. Uh, and it's got a comparison of ACL, like what you're guaranteed by ACL and what it offers on top, which is really nice. So it actually sets it out like point by point. <clears throat> so product care starts on the expiry of manufacturer's volunteer warranty period. Interesting. Um, so yeah, it's got all these funky things and then it's got like, yeah, I will read that later. In fact, so much later, I will read that when I have the option to actually purchase a laptop because I don't have um, 900 bucks yet. So... Uh, that's nice. All right, view results, because I missed it. Sun data hatchling, because you guys hate me. You know how tricky this one is, don't you? Guess what? Here's a Zygor guide. 
Ah, uh, yes. You need to get several items. These items are needed to pass challenges that are protecting their location of the Sun Data Hatchling. First, you need to purchase or craft six different major protection potions. You may buy these from the AH or craft them with the Alchemy Profession if you have the recipes. All right, so I'm going to head to... You know what, I might just go back to the garrison. Um, yeah, the accidental damage protection is the same. It's not going to be broken when you receive it. Yeah. Give you a voucher book thingo. Yeah, I saw that. It's kind of funky. The norm is a semi-scam, pull-through sales stuff. They have a thing if you go back term. Two weeks of the battery life is reduced by 50%. percent they let you trade it in. It's credit towards your next item. Hang on. Harvey Norman's is semi-scam, uh, pull-through sales stuff. But they have a thing. If you go back term two weeks and say the battery life has reduced by 50%, they'll let you trade it in as credit towards your next item. What does that term two weeks bit mean, Sorry, Sorry? I am um, currently going through product care since my four-year-old laptop just flat out died. Let's say pull the data and check it's not a quick fix. Get the full amount back as a credit to a new laptop. Oh, cool, okay. That's not bad. Yeah, they, do, they did say that they offer a one-off replacement thing as well. And this is, of course, something I'm going to be able to claim on tax, which is great because it is like I'm very specifically buying this laptop. It's not going to be able to play many games. It's not going to be able to do. I mean, it might be able to play some basic stuff, but the big thing is going to be it'll let me detach from my PC because right now I work here. I stream here. I play my games. I, I have my leisure time here. I do all of my back end stream admin stuff here and I'm I'm done. I'm sick, like I, I just, I need to get out of the house. I need some fresh air, I need some sunshine. And so having a laptop uh, with a decent battery life is gonna enable me to go down to the local cafe, grab a chai and do some of my social media or check my emails or just do something out of the house. Uh, and that's what I'm really, like, that's what I would really like to be able to do. Or even just go sit on the couch in the lounge room with the, with the wind, like, the doors open. Because in here there's, like, zero airflow. Because, like, there is a small window that opens and then there's, like, the, like, the, that over there is, like, a walkway. Like, a little narrow hallway. So the flow of air is just trash. Uh, on warm days, this room is, like, nearly 10 degrees higher than anywhere else in the house because there's just no airflow. Um, so being able to sit in the lounge room or on the balcony or just anywhere else except here to do some work would be really nice. Ah, uh, laptop no longer exists, so I credit rather than replace. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't have a Norman today, they made me fix my laptop speakers. Only 15 hours to get fixes. That was a nice surprise. Oh, good. That's great, Daisy. Congrats. Ah, uh, that's exactly why I started using my tablet again. A keyboard for it. I don't want to sit here. I can sit on the lounge room better on the veranda and still be able to write and do socials. Exactly. That's that's the big like. But it's just so expensive, and it also means I'll be able to take it to PAX with me and make sure I'm keeping up to date with stuff like before I leave for PAX, and then when I get home in the evening, I can whatever. Do you know? Like it's just it helps. Need sunshine in the building. Oh, Darren, that's so sweet of you to say. Welcome <laughs> today, and also welcome on into chat. I hope you're having a great day. Some puppets to amuse me. Fantastic, Ray. That sounds so lovely. Sounds so lovely. Okay, major arcane protection potion. 2,500 gold. Great. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, once I do it, it never has to be done again. Holy protection potion. It's all the same person. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Uh, major fire. God, I can't even type today. Major fire protection potion. Same person again. This person's making many dollars off me today. Nature. Protection potion. Oh, a different person. And it was the only one on the shit, okay. Uh, Frost Protection Potion. And Shadow. There we go. Done. If you find anything exotic, Fine. bring it to me. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Alright, I need Winterfall Firewater and there's none of it on the 
auction house. I'm gonna go have to. I'm gonna have to go farm it. But that's okay. Farm from Winterfall enemies. Those are in. Not for hours. Wait, maybe. Winter spring. Okay, cool. Oh, it's giving me the fl okay, cool. Teleport to Ogrima. I can do that. Um Hey, how's it going? Hello, Jack, doing very well. Thank you. How are you? Thank you so much for the um I think it was I'm pretty sure it was you, right? In the Yeah, about the um the laptop stuff. Thank you so much for your like advice and things. I really, really appreciate it. Um, good. It's the same press. Did like a lot of work. Oh, that's so good. Neke, Meaty, and back. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I have felt really productive over the last couple of days. I'm like, I'm actually almost done scheduling April socials, which is great. Which, if I can get that done like tomorrow, I've only got a little bit left to go. And if I can get that done tomorrow, it means that I don't have to do any social scheduling for two weeks. And then I schedule May. Uh, May. So <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, host in the shell. Philosophy, but in a stream raiders battle. Good. I uh, have to up to the bedroom. Can rejoin? Yay, meaty! Fantastic. Wonderful news. I'm gonna play. Nope. Nope, wrong one. I want this one. I want it here. There we go. Yay! And I can go turn in that quest now. Yeah, so I've I've landed on a lappy that's gonna cost me about nine hundred bucks, um, excluding any like product care stuff. Um, but I've been putting away I, every time I get paid by Twitch, I put aside money for superannuation and I put aside money for tax, and then what's left goes into the dental bucket. So the amount that I've been putting away for tax, um. I've been paying quarterly tax because that's the thing that I do now because I've made too much money apparently. Um, I, I made enough money last financial year to qualify to be able to pay my tax quarterly, which is really nice. Instead of getting this big bill at the end of the financial year, being able to pay it every three months is really, really nice. So um, I've paid two installments so far. Um, two? I think so. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so when I get everything assessed by the tax agent and stuff, I might actually get money back this year, depending on how much I make. Because Twitch is so variable, I may still have to pay some, but I might be able to actually get a tax return for the first time in three years. Um, or I might have enough money left in my tax bucket that doesn't actually need to be spent on a bill that I can put, like, you know, put most of it into the dental bucket. But... I might be able to grab a laptop while I'm at it, just depending. Um, it'll it'll depend on how much I have left to pay, uh, left until I hit my 23 grand for, for dental, obviously. Because um, as much as getting a lappy would be phenomenal, um, it's not, it shouldn't be as high a priority as my health. <laughs> oh dear. Look, it's all it's all fun and games. It's all happening. Uh, my belly's just decided it's hungry. Good timing. Well done. Well done. Maybe I should grab because I, I had to. Yes, yeah, I know, I know. I had the uh, the hot cross bun Sulsana brand. Um, so I do actually still have some food, like my meal prep stuff left in the fridge. So maybe I should grab that and just kind of pick at it. I'm 
agree me that is oh me too yori me too it's your shiny conductor badge isn't it brilliant okay so apparently high chief winter falls um has a much higher drop rate on the uh because uh, I need the winterfall fire water is what I'm after today I know right it's gorgeous gorgeous because there was none on the auction house I checked Do you have merch? Thank you, Qualitron. I'm sure there are some new colours and stuff. I need to order some more bits and pieces. I would really like to wear my merch every day at PAX, but I'm I've only got one t-shirt and a mask, so I'm gonna need some more. Some more merch my own but that's okay I think I've made enough sales to cover like one or two pieces for myself which is really you know that's really nice not having to pay for my own merch because through commission um has it's been yeah it's nice it's nice Have some fire water. Mm, so, High Chief is like because high chief has apparently like a 50 percent drop rate for the fire water and he's down here so i'm gonna go over there that thing welcome home jas i heard the door go i'm hungry you want some chocolate oh no i absolutely do 100 percent um there are a lot of things that I'm able to claim on tax. When I spoke to my tax agent about it all, I'm like, here are all the things I do that are related to stream, even in some possible way. What of this can I and can't I claim? And she was just like, let's claim all of it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, like anything that I purchase to promote something, like if I bought more step one stuff, if I if I had it, okay, so the step one was an affiliate, if, if it was an affiliate program, which it's not, and I bought more of more underwear to show like that would that would be okay to claim because I'm purchasing it to make promotional posts to earn money. Something something bubble tea. Yep. Anything I buy from the bubble tea club, I claim on tax. Because I use it, I, I use it to make pro Hey, there we go. I use it to make posts. To, to promote the product, to make sales. So it's it's it, it's it. Um, okay, so ethereal oil. Can have some chocolate? Brilliant. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Oil. If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. I think... Looks gonna be the closest place for me to use magic. Um, I bought an Easter bunny today. I've been eating hot cross buns for weeks. Hot buns are March, April, May was will be Easter. Yeah, we've look, we've had a few, a few like hot cross buns and stuff. But um, I had a like I was borderline psychotic with my craving for chocolate yesterday. So I bought. I'm not sure if you guys have seen in Woolies. They've got the Cadbury like it's like almost hexagonal type kind of tall thing with a little window on the front, and it's got like ten different types of Easter chocolate goodies in it. 
Um, so yesterday, Jas and I ate a marshmallow coated in chocolate that was like a white marshmallow with a little yellow bit in the center. Kind of cute. It was like a marshmallow egg. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's, it's not bad. Yes, bubble tea club. Delicious bubble tea that you can make at your home anytime, day or night, and you don't even have to get dressed. How, like, how could it possibly be any better than that? On demand bubble tea. Go. Ten pygmy oil. Have anything okay. ancient to trade? Needs to be at least you. two centuries old. Ten pygmy oil. If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. I need a little princess costume, bought from the age of born magical menagerie for one pet charm. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Alright. I will be back shortly. Run away, little girl! Run away! Want some of my jungle love? chocolate yes so many so many commands <laughs> this is why I don't have a panel like under the stream saying, these are the commands you can use, because there's just too many. <laughs> Wait. I can't talk to Leo the Lioness. I should have to go over here, maybe, yeah. Hey there. So many commands. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Scroll of intellect, the level one version. Oh god. <clears throat> Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. God, if I spelt it correctly, this is clearly why I need the scroll of intellect. So it's a level one one, yeah? This one. If you find anything exotic, bring, bring it, to it to me. me. Okay. Kill Scotty. If he's not there, wait a few minutes. He has a short respawn timer. Let's go kill Scotty. Scotty doesn't know. Don't tell Scotty. Scotty doesn't know. You know, you know. Oh, 
Oh, Jack, if you're still here, I need a uh, sound file from you for your sound redemption. This cannot be. The Black Empire itself has invaded the Vale. Act swiftly before all is lost. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Perfect, let me know. Mm. <clears throat> I really like chocolate. Chocolate really likes me. It doesn't leave. It just kind of finds a home in my thighs. Sniffle, sniffle. This is fun. This is really fun. I'm enjoying this. Are you enjoying this? I hope you're enjoying this, even if you're lucky. Don't feel like you have to come out of luck. You can if you want, but you don't have to. But while you're sitting in luck, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Do you all have this chocolate? Icy squares? No. I don't think so. I think so. I've not seen it before. Or the butt, or the wiggly arms, or the face. Ah, chocolate, why are you so irresistible? Look, I agree. I agree. Oh, yeah, no. So tasty. Ooh. I mean, I have a pure box. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Should probably not eat more chocolate. Uh, I'm enjoying this show now. My secret. So interesting. Good. I'm so glad. Wonderful news. Oh gosh. So sorry. Sniffling like crazy today. I like cream egg. Oh, if you are lurking, have you had a chance to follow me on Instagram? You're not going to want to miss the post I put up tomorrow night. Let me just say that. Let me just put it that way. You're not going to want to miss it. You do, Yuri? Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chaos, for the social sync. Oh, super sweet. Melt in your mouth. It's kind of a cool sensation. Oh, interesting. So maybe menthol in the chocolate or something? Not like milk, not like mint cream or something like that, but like a menthol in the... Hmm. Cool. Funky. Comes with the cave, it says. It has to be this one. <clears throat> it's not. Good! All right. Cool, okay. I see you. Scotty's lucky coin! Talk to Sprinkle Noggin Fogger. Buy 10, 20 Noggin Fogger elixirs. I'm gonna be using so much stuff. <laughs> oh, I got a pair of plant pants that I didn't have the transmog for while I was farming those. Um, what's it? That's hilarious. <clears throat> what is it? Kevin's a time downstairs. Okay, I need to go downstairs. Um, Jay, I'm not sure what that means. I'm sorry. Care of plants. Yep, correct. Oh, 
Oh, Debbie, a Debbie Downer. Right, so you're asking if you can share bad news. Yeah, it's it's Debbie as in like the name of a person, not not Deppy. With ease. Oh, I remember I did this pet or not. But sure sounds familiar. Yeah, just buy a ton of stuff, like lots of elixirs. It's um like the sprite data hatchling is like in a little place and you've got to like use all these different potions to get past like locks, basically. Um I've flicked through the guide before, I've just never done it, obviously, because I still haven't got the thing. Yep. Some lavender plants. Hope the dogs don't dig them up. I hope so too, Yuri. I hope so too. Alrighty. Uh, Sprinkle. Where is you? There you are. Hmm. Interesting. 20 Noggin Foggers. Sell that. Yes. Oh. Okay, enter Dire Mall North. I may love you brought up Planning Flowers at this very moment. There's an RP group by admin and just launched a garden slash flower event. There you go. Very funky. I wish I had, like, the creativity to make, like, super involved, fancy events for giveaways and stuff. Like, I just, uh... I am terrible at that kind of stuff. <clears throat> like, the Logitech puzzle. Who who followed the White Rabbit from Logitech ANZ's Twitter page? We're 27% of the way through the guide. But I have a feeling of buying the... Where did it go? I can't tell you that. There was a link on that Logitech tweeted. Logitech underscore... Uh, Logitech G underscore ANZ. The, the Twitter account. It was a link. And, um... It was like, da-da-da-da, white rabbit. And you, you could sign... You could put your email address in and sign up for, like, you know, a, a puzzle. And then you'd get an email. It, it triggered maybe a day and a half or so later that you get the actual email to start the chain. And from there, you had to follow the clues one by one, clue and clue and clue and clue and clue and clue and clue, uh, until at the end, you had a place where you could put your name in and optionally your address. And then I got an email after doing that that said, congratulations, you found your way to the end. Um, if you put in your email, if you put in your home address, uh, your you'll get a small present soon, kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I did. I put in my address. So I'm, I'm. We'll see. We'll see what arrives. We'll see what arrives. Um, hello, summer. Got recommended on. Uh, we've got link protection here, but I'm guessing that your asterisks. Um, I'm guessing you said battle.net, like on the launcher? Yeah, I have been, which is super awesome, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. It's been so much fun. I I've really been enjoying it. I'm glad you found your way here, though. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome on in. Good morning, Alex. How are you going? I uh, heard several YouTuber streamers say they will never eat anything sent to their PO box. Like with so many other things, public person, you only have to be wrong once. Correct, Jay. Correct. Um, and yeah, look, if Sheba sent me something, I feel like that's a touch different. Like Sheba and I have a, you know, like we go back and, and I trust him and all that kind of stuff. It's like uh, Rump and I did an exchange where I sent Rump a box of like Australian goodies and he sent me a box of very, very particularly American goodies. Uh, and, and I ate them happily because I knew that I could trust him. But yeah, if I got a random package with food in it, like a totally random package with food in it from God knows who, then yeah, probably not. Because there's every chance I could die from that, <laughs> literally. Because people don't realize sometimes that their actions have consequences. Uh, but if it's if it's coming from a trusted source, then yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be okay with that. Um. 
put it on their Insta too. I don't use Twitter. That sounds fun. I love puzzles. No, it wasn't on their Instagram. However, you didn't need to follow them or anything like that. It was a link that they tweeted. So you should, even without a, a Twitter account, you should be able to go to twitter.com forward slash Logitech G underscore ANZ and scroll down their feed until you find the white rabbit link. It's got the words white rabbit towards the end of it. So you, you'll be able to see what it is. Um, and then click that link and follow it from there. You shouldn't need... I'm trying to think... I think the only thing you need... No, I, I can't say anything without giving away stuff. I'm so sorry. I, and I don't want to give clues because it's not, like, it's not okay, you know? Um, Alright, cool. So then we're going through this way. Um, worst that will happen, there might be some pet hair in the box! <laughs> Uh, I do that with my best friend too. So she's in the UK. It's so fun. Yeah, exactly right. It's just, it's great fun. But yeah, look, I, I absolutely get what people say about like, you know, go to the PO boxes and stuff like that, because all it takes is one stupid child thinking, haha, this is a fun prank. I'll make them a little bit sick or it'll taste bad or something like that. But it can actually kill people. Like, yeah, all it takes is one stupid kid trying to pull a prank to, to literally end everything. Um, so yeah, nope. Um, I have a little bit of time relaxing in the stream. Fantastic, Alex, and no need to apologize about the English. As long as we can understand each other, that's all that matters, right? It's a human skip for sheep and crackling. <laughs> I think that might be like rancid by the time it gets here, though, unfortunately. Um, all right, run up the ramp, click the ogre tannin basket. I'm getting a, an ogre costume. <clears throat> it was so tasty, I can imagine. Alright. Wait, what? Wait, turn in Gordok Ogre Suit. Why did that skip? I need the suit, don't I? Sound. Erg. Talk to me. Hurry back. There we go. All right. Thank God I noticed that that double skipped. All right. Black rock depths. That's gonna be an org port, right? To get to BRD. <clears throat> I did! Didn't I react? I thought I reacted to it. Maybe I thought it was too late and so I didn't. Yeah. 
Oh, stone and port. That's what it says. Brilliant. Luckily, we don't need the reagents anymore. Ah, uh, who's be here? DCF. <laughs> Going down the rabbit hole. Enjoy. I have all the reactions. I have a third of the amounts that you have. I'm getting there. Yeah, once I clear my art list, I'm going to get a good break from commissions. Have some me time. Fantastic. Sounds good. I would love some me time. <clears throat> That's fine. That's fine. Uh, spirit data. Did that change obtaining method? No, this is the sun data hatchling. There are there are multiple different ones. So I've got the sprite data hatchling, which is the one you're thinking of. Uh, this is the sun data hatchling. They're different. Mm. We're having steak tonight, I think. You don't have the sun data then? Yeah. Probably not. It's one of the secrets. Um, it was like, you know, data mined and they couldn't figure out how to get it and then people kind of pieced together stuff from the code and figured out how to actually obtain it. How to break all the locks. Um, so yeah, this is... Uh, this is what we're doing today, is a couple of those things. So we've just got, we went and got Jennifer. That was a lot quicker and easier than I thought it'd be. Compa compared to like last stream, we only crossed off two. I got the waste of time and I got Baal. And so I had to do, like I already had Una, but I had to do Una's story and then go do Baal. And then I did all the waste of time. And that took quite some time. So I was expecting that all of these were gonna be about the same, but Jennifer was really quick. So that's nice. Secrets and absolutely bonkers have figured it out. Agreed. 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 If we get the sun data hatchling done, then um, I'll be able to do the bound shade hound as well, or at least start working on it. Um, and there is one last secret that I can't see on Fear because she can't get it, um, and it's the tiny wall blaze for Pepe, because technically Pepe was a secret, I think. It's the waste of time. I know, I know. But the, um, like, Baal took forever as well. So it's, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like, they took, you know, roughly three hours each sort of thing. Um, so the fact that Jennifer took about an hour was like, oh, okay. Well, not even an hour. Most of it was spent me blabbing at the start of stream. Uh, is it bar where you have to run in a maze? That one did me in. No, that's the, um, um, uh, the horse. The horsey. Um, the name of it escapes me at the moment. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, Akenstein, Draz, Martin, Zam, and Meaty, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Yes, Lucid Nightmare, thank you. That's the one I was looking for. Much appreciated. I'm like, Midnight is not the right term, but I know it's the same kind of thing as Midnight, as in, like, the, the horse, as well as, like, Nightmare, Midnight. It's kind of similar. Look, that's where my brain went. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Maze wasn't that interesting, Imo. I was really looking forward to the maze because so many people had said it had taken them, like, six, seven, eight hours. Uh, and I was, like, fully ready to spit, like, to extend my stream to get this done. And then I banged it out in 45 minutes. And I was like, okay. Can I to make it fun? Yeah, I think it was, I think it was tricky enough, like, difficult enough for most people that they didn't want any extra things to make it fun. Extra things would have just confused the hell out of them. But yeah, it's, um... <clears throat> Where are we going? Through to the middle. Shadow Forge Lock. Click the Shadow Forge Lock. Why wouldn't you just go straight through there? Maybe this isn't it. Yeah, I can't see what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, 
the same XP. We've lost mail first, somewhere from a deal, spent a couple hours on sorting five breeze through the whole quest line in 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Do you pursue full achievements? Uh, what do you mean by full achievements? Oh, as in like completion, like as in getting all the achievements. Sorry, because I'm like, how do you fully do, like you either do an achievement or you don't do an achievement. Like, how is there anything other than a completedly full achievement? I was a little bit confused. Um, Kind of, yes and no. Uh, it's, I'm definitely a person who does achievements. Um, 32,855, not like tons. Like there are a lot of people who have a lot more than I do, um, but I do pretty respectably. Um, most of those categories are mostly done, yeah, except PvP, but PvP can suck it. Um, so, <laughs> so not not actively, sometimes actively, yes. Um, but more often these days, I'm pursuing mounts. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely a completionist on like all levels, which is why I run all the things. Um, I, I enjoy it muchly. I enjoy it muchly. Uh, okay, so... garrison where is that through here it must be I think that's the only way to get up there this particular guide from Zygor is not doing super duper well in terms of guiding me through this dungeon that's okay as long as I can put them together um, it's technically impossible yeah it, it is technically impossible because there are a lot of achievements that um, can't be done on like there are a lot that can't be done anymore um but yeah it's um i know like when when zm came out and zareth mortis i actively like did uh knocked out a few of those achievements um and i've actively knocked out a few from like the shadowlands zones and stuff like that i used to be all about them achieves uh and in my pursuit of trying to get the highest mount achievement I, I fell head over heels in love with mount farming, and so that's kind of what I do mostly. So we have Mount Farm Monday. Every Monday stream is a mount farming stream. And uh, on Sundays, we have transmog hunting. So I do loot appraiser challenges when it's suitable, um, but for the most part, running, um, like going through dungeons across 12 classes, trying to get more transmog and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm definitely a completionist. I also am active on Data for Azeroth. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, oh god. So clearly the Shadowforge lock it was telling me to do is I didn't do the right thing. Uh, that's okay. I can, I can figure it out. Uh, 32k solid. Yeah, it's fairly, it's fairly okay, but, um, yeah, there are a lot of people in a lot of places that have a hell of a lot more than I do, and that's okay. It's just, um, I mean, I'd like to get up there, but, um, I, yeah, I've got some slightly more important things on my plate at the moment. But that's alright. Higher priorities. And priorities shift all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. That's really impressive. Aw, thank you, Summer. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. Good morning, Rice. Am I winning? I am. I have got a new pet today. I unlocked Jennifer. And I am 36% uh, of the way to unlocking the Sun Data Hatchling. So I would call that a win. I hope that you also, Rice, are winning today. I look forward to you coming in and asking that question. Is that weird? Like, it's it's nice, you know? Like, yes, I am winning. Being able to claim the win is a really good feeling, you know? Uh, yes, I'm very, very into achievements. Started playing with this guy. I like to compete for mounts. There's a lot of mounts on my free time. Goes into farming mounts these days. Yeah, look, it's... And farming mounts is great fun. Like, really great fun. Where the hell am I going? This way. 
Oh my god, Queen! Barry, hello. How are you? Sorry, that was really loud. I apologize to everyone using headphones. Uh, I know, I usually advertise this as a chill stream, but, uh, oh, am I supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to kill some stuff, aren't I? Oops. Oh, yeah. Mega winning, yes! Thank you, Rice. Um, how are you doing today, Barry? Long time no speak. I'm kidding, obviously. It's supposed to be like... Oh, the Shadow Forge lock. So this is, this is where I was meant to get to. That was, but it, it did no, no way to guide me there. Brilliant. That's okay. That's fine. We found- we, we made it this far. That's fine. Uh, I just start really fun with all the Spyhawk matches. My new mug is so nicely! You should. You should. All your tunes, every week. Says I, who does not do anything of the sort. That's okay. You guys wanted me to farm down the list on DFA and that's what I'm doing. I'm actually really enjoying that method of farming because it shakes things up every so often. Like every month or so, the list kind of jiggles around a bit, so I don't get too stuck doing the exact same thing for a very, very, very long time. It's kind of nice. Uh, make her yell. No, I was excited. It's fine. Very ten thousand years. Find a good Final Fantasy list. I'm devastated. A list for what, honey? What kind of list? <clears throat> okay. Click here to proceed. Talk to Dark Iron Brewer. Upstairs. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What'd I do? Where the hell did I get them from? Up there, okay. Mm, the Mount Minions like this. Ah, so a completionist type deal. Oof, yeah, no, that that's rough. That's rough. It sucks that there isn't one. That's so what weird. Can I do for you? Let's cheers. Let's taste some more. More, more, more. Another drink. A drink. Oh, I'm feeling groggy. Mug of dire brew. Now that you have collected all of the it materials, you can start going through the challenges to obtain this pet. It is a cave to the very north of Winter Spring, over the mountains, and all the way down on the ground. You will need a flying mount to get here. Okay, so let's start. Oh, uh, collection would break me because you can't collect all the mogs. Oof. If I can't get them, they just aren't on the list. Zeppler made a video with all the mounts in the game as of Shadowbringers. There you go. That's one- that's a start. You'd have to make a list as you watch the video, but it's a start. Oh god, fear drunk. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, 
have you checked out FFXIV Collect? Is it not for me to be honest? Oh, not for me either, very. That'd, like, I mean, if there was no other option, I would absolutely, like, bash my head against it until it was done and make the list myself. Um, but that's because I'm stubborn as hell. But it would absolutely be my last option on the list. But there you go. Jack says, have you checked out Final Fantasy XIV Collect? I was on the influence of these young lady. I know, look, look at this. Look, what is this? What is this? This is just W. I'm holding down W. Okay, spacebar. What is actually happening here? Uh, if there was another option, I'd pay someone. It's not perfect, but it's a basic list. There you go. Thank you. Oh. What's wrong with Final Fantasy Collect? Indeed, I'm not patient, I'm stubborn. There is a difference. Ah, oh, right, got you. I thought you were like, no thank you, I do not want to check that out. And I was like, oh, is there, is there tea? But no, it's good. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, oh, go me. Well done, Fia. The braining, good. <clears throat> Almost to the cave. I accidentally caused tea on a pearl stream the other day and I'm like, there's Minecraft drama? Oh god. Oh lord. I mean, honestly, there, there's just so much drama associated with like every bloody thing, hey? I'm just like, let's just not. <laughs> let's just not. I can CBF, don't have time for that. There's so much to Minecraft drama, respectfully. Did not inquire, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I would have just, like, backed away slowly with my hands in the air. Oh, gosh. I see people getting blocked over Minecraft drama. <laughs> oh, goodness. <clears throat> I mean, I see a whole lot of Minecraft stuff pop up on um, r slash quit your bullshit. Like, people posting a YouTube video of their creation in Minecraft, and then people in the comments being like, bruh, this was done by such and such famous streamer three years ago, what are you doing, kind of thing. Um, but beyond that... Genre is prevalent in Minecraft, you YouTuber fan. Ah, uh, yeah. YouTuber is all you need to mention. <laughs> done. It's stolen uncredited content. Yeah. Yeah. People need to just not be shit, hey? All right, warning, make sure you follow the paths. Do not take any shortcuts. It seems that if you drop down at any point during this puzzle, you will get teleported to the beginning. Go through the cave until you get to the fire barrier. To get through the barrier, you must use your major fire protection potion. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Caverns of consumption. There's no map inside these either. Still drunk. Uh, all right. Major fire protection potion. Here we go. Next will be a fell barrier. To get through this barrier, you'll need to use all the other major protection potions you acquired. Arcane. Oh, right. Five minutes. Ha! <laughs> you have to wait five minutes in between using each of these potions. Potion buffs last two hours only while inside the cave. Do not log out. Once you have all these buffs, go through the barrier. So we're going to sit here for five. So we've got five that we've already used. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, what, 25 minutes before I can walk across that line. So how are you, you guys doing? <laughs> What's up? What's happening? Oh, this is hilarious. I feel like I need more chocolate. You know, I was just thinking that, Shiba. I was just thinking that. Oh, can't use that ability while pacified. Consuming silence, unable to use spells or abilities. 
That sucks. When you have 25 minutes to win is not winning. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> You're stuck. Why are you stuck, Yuri? Oh, on the Logitech thing? Feel free to tell me in a DM where you're stuck. I'm not going to tell you how to cross it. I'm not going to, like, as much as I would love to help people, like, help people win, I, that's, I can't in good conscience do that. Like, uh, you dumb dumb? No. No, I bet you not. I bet you not. They're, like, some of the puzzles in there are really tricky. Some of them are really tricky. Now what? <laughs> Actually, it's a pity we're like halfway through a thing with you because I'm pretty sure Dungeons is open at the moment on um, Stream Raiders. That's really funny. Yeah, it ends in 12 days. Oh dear. Ah, uh, a stretch. I knew that. If you don't remember to stretch, it is. You are correct, Rice. Oh, did you hear that? That was my shoulder popping. Make a minesweeper scene and play some minesweeper. Do I still have Minesweeper as like a game? Is it not? I don't think it's included in Thingy anymore. Search for apps in the Microsoft Store. Um, but do they though, Yori? Is this a literal time gate? It is a literal time gate. Two minutes so I can pop my next potion. Microsoft Minesweeper. Free. Let's install that. <clears throat> Get. Offers in-app purchases. What the hell kind of in-app purchases do you get from goddamn Minesweeper? Uh, whatever. Probably a bad idea, but search Simon Tatham's portable puzzle collection. Going through a hard mind sweeper, like what kind of sorcery? Small computer games which implement one player puzzle games. All of them run natively on Unix. Oh, 30 seconds. On the web as Java or JavaScript applets. That's kind of fun. You are not <laughs> prepared. Hello, Miss Marvel. Welcome. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. How is your stream? Thank you for the cast of command, Shiba. Um, for those of you uh, who haven't met me before, I'm Theo. It is lovely to meet you. I am predominantly a World of Warcraft streamer. Uh, and today I'm working on secrets. Wow secrets that have been found by other players and have guides have been written for and blah 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 uh, and this particular secret requires that I take a whole bunch of potions so I can cross this line and each of the potions has a five minute cooldown so it's gonna take us 25 minutes 20 we're 20 minutes to go to take all the potions so we're just gonna stand here and so we're talking about puzzle games that I can launch and create a scene for so that I can distract myself while I'm waiting for these bloody things to and distract you guys um If it's not against Toss, why not show your current Instagram page? It's recent posts. I can do that. It's definitely not against Toss because it's my own bloody content. Um, let's use everyone. Boy has free ad-free phone app too. <gasps> That's dangerous. Raiding keys. Oh, fantastic, fantastic, Marvel. I hope you won lots and lots of things. Wait, fear. Oh my God, do Wordle. Fairy dragon pet. I am the Sun Data Hatchling. How could you tell? Where else in the game do you need to take a ridiculous amount of potions with five minute cooldowns? 
<laughs> uh, all right, let's press that button. The other thing is that um, you can't, you're silenced, so I can't use the Blingtron puzzle thing. Um, I'm just waiting for this to trigger because it's apparently trying to sign me into something and I don't know if it's going to show my real name or anything, so I'm just going to give it a second to figure out its thing. Hurdle, worldle, hurdle, oh god. Oh no, it says PM29, fantastic. Um, alright, so, there's obs. Um, let's do a game capture. Fine, sweeper. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, help me. Specific window Microsoft Mine Sweeper. It's going to work, I wonder. Where is it? Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't want to work. Okay, let me. Okay, so we'll delete that. We'll have to make it a window capture instead. And sweep There we go. There we go. Let me just. There we go. Please remind me to turn it off um, <laughs> when it's time to go. Squirtle is another location, I think. Oh, good lord. Squirtle. Adorable. Uh, adventure. This. Ah, okay. This is really loud. Is there are options here somewhere? Oh, wait, sound effects, wait. Goal is to reach the exit while avoiding traps and monsters and collect gold along the way. Collect some gold, tap a square to move your hero here. A one means exactly one trap is touching the square. It could be anywhere, even diagonally. No, there must be a trap here. Right click. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know how these work. How do I get to there, though? Oh, it can hit, move diagonally, okay. Door, that's gonna be a trap. Can you let me... I don't... I know, can we... I know how to play! Adventure Game Online Sweeper. Hello. Hello, Ian. How are you going? There we go. Congratulations. Took me so long because you kept stopping me. Want to disable ads? What ads? Oh, that ad. Okay. Hi, <laughs> the sun well. Oh, goodness gracious. Allie with the resub. Thank you so much. 14 months. My goodness. Holy cow. Hope you're doing wonderfully well today. B and some Valorant, fantastic. Oh, yeah, I, I know. Oh, right, this is designed for what's it?
Maps. Reveal all traps around you by placing flags over squares and traps. Cool. I'm not going to use that. <laughs> um, morning coffee. Some Valorant? Yep. I uh, just remember my brain how you so quick at this. Because it's just logic puzzle. Dynamite. Uh, okay, so these ones are gone. That one has to be one. It's gonna be clear because it's a one. Oh look, big open space. Interesting. close. That wasn't the one I meant to click. Uh, those ones. Achievement. Oh no. <laughs> Guessing years of the spent years. No, no. So it, you know that you you learn patterns. You learn the patterns that they make. So if you've got a, a corner and it's ones all the way around, you know that the the one on the very corner is going to be a mine and everything around it's going to be cleared. When you see a one and there's a mine already there, you can clear everything else instantly. Um, if you've got like a two between two corners, you know both of them are going to be mines and everything else around them is probably going to be clear. Like it's just. It's, it's about patterns rather than analyzing each individual space. You, you recognize the patterns as a whole. Um, fantastic, Lando. It sounds like a wonderful time. Oh, brilliant. Well, 48 seconds till the next potion. <laughs> Amazing, patterns. Cause maybe, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just, it's it's there. Like, this is what happens when you finish everything in your computer studies class too quickly and then you just spend time sitting there playing Minesweeper because there's nothing else to do. Na, 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 Add on the thing is currently for a schnitzer, and I really want pizza now. But I can't. We had really good burgers last night for dinner. Oh, they were so good. Really, really tasty. Next motion has been taken. Onto something else. Yeah, I look speedrunning anything would just stress the hell out of me too much. But yeah, it's a uh, uh, meaty van V and hum. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Skin chest. Place your units if you want a chance at a skin from your chest. Follow the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop the units to the battlefield. Super fun, happy times. To my mind sweeper ring. Uh, and those potions. <clears throat> Amazing evening, you too, Ian. We'll see you next time. Oh, 
Oh, fucker. Oh, yeah, it could have been. Gotcha. All right, so that won't be it. Noted. are randomly generated or if like the levels are always the same as you go through. Like no No way. Seriously? Okay, not here. Not in not in the adventure mode, unfortunately. But like on the on the little one. That's super cool. Second. Oh my god. Good lord. That's just ridiculous. Hello, Red! Happy time zone to you too. But wait a second, because these have only got a couple of seconds to go. Just keep speed runs, yeah. Alright, five minutes to go until I can walk through the thing. <clears throat> Two levels.
wonderful. So... Easy mode according to complete ones quickly. Like just alright. It's great on my anticlimax when you want to play though. Yeah. So you guys are working on our oh, sun data hatchling. Sun data hatchling. So I'm waiting for the uh, potion cooldown because you know that's a thing. Four nine seconds. Good lord. Speedrunners agreed. Hey, to see. Didn't you try as he's ruining it? <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, look. A five. Look at that. not what we're playing for the rest of the day. <laughs> it's just waiting for the bloody potions to come off cooldown. Literally nothing else to do. I'm gonna play Blingtron, but I'm silent, so I can't do that either. Okay, uh, let's close that out because we have potion up. Cool. Next puzzle requires you to use your noggin fugger to walk past a diligent watcher. Use the elixir as soon as you get past the fell barrier. Uh, you must use it until you get the skeleton disguise. There we go. Get past the water. Two paths, one on the right, one on the left. Use your Scots lucky coin. Oh, hang on. What? Past the... yeah, use your Scots lucky coin. Then take the path on the right with the vines, click the water coin in the small pond within this room. Do not touch the water. Water stone. When you leave this room, use the water stone. Buff, run up the left path till you get to the ethereal barrier, use your ethereal oil. Use that. Wait, 
I flubbed it. Have I fucked it? I'll run up. Okay. Rock ogre suit. Fire water. Place arm in hole. Oil until you turn it into a pygmy. Ah, oh, go back out to the gate. Okay. Summon your perky pug. Buy little princess costume. Place hand beneath cube. Place arm beneath cube. Okay, proceed. Back out the gate and go down the bottom path. Cancel your plentiful fire water. You can do this right click on the buff. Once that's gone, use your scroll of intellect. And click the tarnished clock. Do this after gaining the buff. Move the mushrooms begins the smallest leap of the mind. Sure. Make, once you do this, follow the path down to the water, making sure you do not drop down. Click oddly colored egg. Go through the water. Wait. What path? Uh, have I? F I feel like I've buggered something up. There should be a path, right? Do not touch the water. I've I've done something wrong. Water. I think it kicks you out. I've done everything, but I can't see path. Follow the path down to the water, making you sure. Oh, maybe just down to the water, making sure you don't drop down. Okay. I guess I just couldn't go sploosh. Okay. I thought it was like the, there was going to be like some hidden path you had to follow or something. But no. Complete. That was ridiculous, but great. That like just the way all the little buffs interact. Look at how many buffs I've got and the way that they all interact and stuff. That's super cool. Uh, all right, end of the current guide. So the last one I've got is the Bound Shade Hound, which is a beta guide. Uh, okay. So we're gonna port to boss, which I can't do. Can't do that. Well, silenced, have to run out I think. Winning, indeed. Many winnings. That was kind of cool, though. I like it. Waterstone. Wet. Can't even blink to get me out faster. I was really lucky that I had one pygmy oil left. 
to turn me into a pygmy when I find when it like the ninth out of the ten finally triggered it. Like, oof. Rough, what can I rep are you? Ah, uh, enough. Um It says reach appreciative and I have, so there's that. Go. So what it's wanting me to do, uh, reach tentative, collect 1,050 Stygia. Um, please, loading screen. Shade hand one. So do I, so I'm doing it. Uh, so yeah, it says reach tentative, collect uh, 1050 Stygia, um, bought animated levitating chain, use it, reach appreciative, collect 1500 Stygia, buy one Stygia Dowser. Um, so that looks like what, uh, that looks like what the next step might be. Ooh, I'm speedy. Look at me go. Oh, and I'm a baby. Teeny tiny. We missed the edge. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, goodness gracious. This feels nice. Crossing things off feels good. If I get this one done, I have to go to my demon hunter. If. Let's buy Dowser. Ah, my new partner. Let us see how long you last. Um. Um. Maybe I already have one. Trust not. Big time look out if you screw it up at some point within it. Okay. Uh, that's right. If I bugger it up, I'll um I'll just come back another time. Yeah. We have a dowser. I do! That's why she's not selling it to me, because I already got one. Edition hold. Hmm. A lot of time for this too. Okay. That's good. Maybe it'll last us the rest of the stream. Hey, Daz. How you doing? So if I bugger it up, will I have to restart it from that point or restart the whole thing? Do you know? Hey Scarlet, how are you going? Welcome in. That point? Okay. That's that's okay. At least I don't have to like. No. Alright, on the wall above you. That one? Ling. Oh, 
across the bridge. Yes, okay. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Grapple point. All right. Use the Stygia Delirium ability. It appears as a button on the screen. Solve the puzzle that agree that appears. Stand facing the southeast. Six runes will appear. You can swap two runes with each other at a time. You must match the order of runes to the order of the runes on the platform. Choose carefully. You only have a limited number of attempts. If you fail to solve it, you'll have to wait for two hours before trying again. This is the bit. <laughs> um, you see, Fantastic Beasts today. Longest three years of my life. Someone figured it out. Might be overthinking this. Or I'm very blind. I think you might be overthinking it. I know that to begin with, I thought what you thought and then went, wait a second. And then it was okay. All right, so I need to face southeast. So I'm facing the correct direction already. I need to use the button. What are the runes on the platform? Do I know how many goes you get? Is there a timer? Is the other option? No, other question. Can't see anything. So that one there should be the first one. So, it should be five first, followed by okay, that, that one, two is in the right place, so that's nice. Followed by one, followed by three. Followed by six. Well, they're the same. They're the same. Oh, okay. So if I turn that one into the five, that into four. Swap those ones. And then I can swap That's true. Three moves. Perfection. So is that the only part that I could screw up, Jack, or are there more? <laughs> The runes up top first. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Bugger. Bugger. Um. The birthday present? Lovely. Is there heaps more puzzles after this one? I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I'm at 31% of the way through. But we will we will see. I need to go back to Venaria and purchase a partial rune codex. No, now comes the boring bit. Ah. Oh, as in for the, sorry, for the Logitech thing, Yuri. There's a few. There's a few. Um, I, I can't remember how many exactly, but I think it took, it, it took me under an hour. But, um, there are, there are a series. Hey, Loza, how you doing? Oh, exclamation battle or exclamation stream readers. Or SR, I think, will get you it. Soz. 
No, I, it's okay, Jack. I thought I thought Yori was talking about the puzzles in game as well. And so <laughs> I have limitless time. It is. You do not. Partial rune codex. Click rune codex page. Procure something of value. Ugh, so we're gonna go to the beast warrens. I gotta finish the rune codex, I would imagine. Hey, Nero, how you doing? Welcome back. Oh, crunchy. Waste time. Dear. Okay. Into the cave, it says. I'm gonna follow the path around. Just to be safe. Run fast now, too. Your top. Thank you, Loz. I, it was gifted to me via throne by an anonymous gifter. If you type in exclamation throne and scroll down to the bottom of like received gifts, it's got links there so that you can go look at them yourself. I've, this is like a super, super pale pink. Uh, I've also got the same top in white and like, like a medium gray as well. They're just, they're so super cute and so comfy. Definitely recommend having, and there's a bunch of other colors as well. I was trying to go for light colors with my with my wish list because I know I have quite a few like black tops and stuff. Um, so I was trying to go for lighter colors, but I'm quite tempted to go get like the rest of the colors anyway. Ah, uh, we're gonna be in London this weekend. Oh dear. I live in black. Pretty sure it comes in black as well. But yeah, definitely take a look. And uh, it's from YesStyle, so make sure you use Fiamma29 for a discount too. Help me pay for my dentistry. It's the Rune Codex page. Use Rune Codex page forging. Add the page. Oh, I mean, what am I in combat with? Oh, cast teleport to Oribos. Which I can't do because I'm in combat. Alright, you why you guys can watch the battle while I try to figure out. Stream has never been here before good stream tennis. <laughs> Hello, fairy, how you going? Welcome back. We'll do next pay? Of course, of course. I don't know what I'm still in combat with, so I'm just gonna kill everything. Not the best. Actually, no bugger it. I'm just gonna hit embers. Even it was yeah that yeah huh yeah huh. Look, sometimes I do it because invis like. It's a five minute cooldown, and that, as you as you now know, that five minutes is a little while. So, um, it was kind of... I, I still, I'm still in combat, even after invising. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, I, I try not to use it until it's like the last option. I try to kill things around me first, but I can't seem to find what I'm in combat with, so... Uh, Mano, Ali, Draz, Jason, and Meaty, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. That's weird. It happens a fair bit, honestly. Um, especially if I can't find what I'm in combat with, and I invis, and I'll still be in combat. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, I completed a quest. Bonus shit! Well done, Ellie. Back to 
leveling the units. So many units that like I'm 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 hitting those ones that are at 29 that are like quite decent cooldowns. There we go. No longer in combat. God, we're almost at a thousand. <gasps> oh my lord. I just realized what that number was. Jesus. That's pretty cool. Why you enjoy Fire Mage? Good, good. It is good fun. If you think it's fun while you're leveling, you don't know nothing. <laughs> once you hit, like, once you hit max level and you get a little bit of gear, specifically when you're aiming for your haste gear and stuff, it pops off you. Like, it's, it's really good. I'm still enjoying it. Good. I'm so glad to hear that. So glad. Alright, in we go again. Slightly different location this time though. Ah, uh, I came so much more leveling. It's boring when it's geared. Yeah, look, I've always enjoyed... Like, I've always really enjoyed fire, like, for, like, leveling, or PvP, or raiding, or whatever, like, it's just always been my jam, so. But, I mean, yeah, look, have an experiment, play around with the different specs, you might as well, right? Stuff has come back, mobs have respawned, this makes me unhappy. <clears throat> I want to fight my way through stuff, I just want to run. We're hanging left. Level out again, yay. Wish every drown is so making up for me missing out. Yes, absolutely. Can't complain about that, eh? Understand what a skin point goal is. So when we get to a hundred skin points, we unlock a new full skin that I can design with the Stream Raiders team and then make available for purchase. And all the purchases, like, if you purchase any skin that's flagged as a Fiamma skin, uh, I get a 50% profit share. So almost, almost 50% of your purchase. There are a couple of cents here and there that go to, like, bank fees and stuff like that. Um, but most, al almost half of it goes into the streamer's pocket, which is really funky. But I hate this place. That's when I get my bot lips. Sure. Sure. Ah, uh, prefer first and I prefer prefer S priest. Yeah, I do not. I do not. I'm gonna do it cheeky. It. The chaotic rift stone and choose yes. No. Probably do that with this. <laughs> Uh, 
think I'm just bad at dress me nuts. How squishy mages are. Oh no, they're absolutely squishy. Not it's not just you. It's not just you. So I just don't like playing them. Yeah, it's not just you. Um, you do have to go a little slower when you're when you're playing a mage or any squishy class really. There's a couple of them. Uh, but yeah, it's um. You get used to it though. Or you get yourself a pocket jazz. Point of a mage is to kill the thing before it gets to you. Yep, um, they call us glass cannons for a reason. They are very fragile, break very easily, uh, but we pump out a hell of a lot of damage while we're still alive. Yep. Jas with an S. It's Jasrith. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not a paladin. Yep. Yeah, it's um, it is a very different playstyle. Very different playstyle. Frost is probably the best mage to solo if you find yourself too squish, because it has so many things that slow. Correct. Yeah. You lock them down, you slow them, and then you get the hell away. And then turn around and keep them slowed while you squish them. Oh dear. Hello, hello. How's our, how's our Ember Goal looking today? We're gonna get to 75% to stay on track. Good way to drop combat, by the way. Take those. Someone just. Now Jazz. Well, he's got to give his consent for that. I need to face the mage. He didn't run away fast enough. Yeah. As demonstrated. <laughs> They're not supposed to hit you. Just look over here. What prompted that thought? I wonder. I wonder, right, Seeker? We're at 71. We're pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. Now we read the page. <laughs> okay, we have the intact rune codex. Click stray soul. It looks like a wolf. It wanders from the southern end to the northern end of the river of souls. The north end it despawns and respawns back at the south end. Easiest to start the north, make your way south. Of course it is. Mm. Never jumped off there before. Um, heavy cleaning, look, go for it. Go for it. Over an hour, maybe I'll try it another time. Fair. Totally fair. Right. So we'll start at the north.
This is as far north as we can go, really. More mobs. That's about as far north as we can go. See it. It's like follow the yellow brick road, except follow the river of souls. It actually works perfectly. Does it wander slowly? It says wanders rather than runs, so these quick ones don't seem to be them. Like for the river to be more narrow, please, so I don't have to scan larger area. I have to collect it, so... It's not like it's a... I have to kill it or anything either. It's gonna be a yellow or a red. A yellow or a green. Oh! No, that's an anima pot, never mind. Oh, there it is! I was afraid I was gonna miss it. That That's a big boy. Okay, kill Soul Forger Ruvus, a rare with approximately a one hour respawn timer. Good! Back to Minesweeper then. Let's see if he's up. Follow, 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 yes. What's your eye level, BT dubs? Uh, 250.56. Finally cracked 250. So Forger Rovus. Guessing this is one that only spawns if you're on the, the thingy. Just fun then instantly evaporates most stuff. Maybe just 226. Yeah, um, gear definitely helps, but also like this that's like if you've been out of combat for a little while, you have all your, your insta casts up. Fire Mage is all about the instant casts. If you can trigger a bunch of guaranteed crits and throw a ton of pyroblasts, insta cast pyroblasts at them, they'll melt. Like, they'll melt. But if you've got a bigger pack, once you've burned through those. You're kind of screwed for a little while and you don't do a whole lot and that's when the, the squishiness becomes a danger. So you've got to pull smaller packs. Um, you can't just pull everything and spin to win. It's got a one hour respawn timer. A. Soul 
Georgia. Rovis. Okay, badass. Right, so I might need help with this. And he doesn't spawn during a Kyrian, but that's fine, it's night fair. Hi, the sun. Welcome back, Icy. Hello! Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing well. So this is a one hour spawn timer. But I'm probably gonna need help. stuff on the soul soup. Well, I've got two secrets today. I got Jennifer and the Sundarna Hatchling. I'm working on the Bound Shade Hound now, but this dude here is a um, one hour respawn, so that's slightly less fun. Might be behind, of course. What happens though? That happens. <clears throat> You soon, indeed, indeed. Oh. <sighs> really hope I'm gonna be able to kill him. Guys, all say he hits really hard. <laughs> Actually, no, I can do Blinktron. Domain <laughs> spoilers? Yeah. I enjoyed it. The new zone is absolutely beautiful. Just, just drop dead gorgeous. Um, the story gave some spoilers for like the raid stuff really early on, before most people would have had a chance to even get there on normal. Um, so a few people were a little upset about that, understandably. Um, but no, I've I've really been enjoying it. Honestly, it's been a lot of fun. Imagine. <sighs> that was not 
that one is actually. Hopefully he spawns. Hopefully he was he, he was close to his one hour. Got here. But we shall see, shan't we? Well, possibly, not sure. Given this is a little bit older, though, probably not now that I think about it. Because this was well, like, this was Corthia when I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Corthia when this secret was uh, discovered, at least. I'm not sure if it was introduced then. But, um, so now that I've got pretty decent ZM gear, maybe I'll. Off. But we'll see. Just do rounds and she'll be right. I'm sure. It's already installed. Enjoy. Fun with it. She's currently hyped for 95. Some of the info about it, some info about hell, especially raid wise. Not story spoilers, not technically spoilers. Don't know if I want to say more in case anyone wants to surprise. Of course! I appreciate the uh, the considerating consideration. There we go. There's a word, an actual one. Um, appreciate the consideration. Good. Ring double legendary. Yep. Absolutely. Got anno 1800. Trying to get my daily word count done so I can play that. Absolutely. I think it's so good you're sticking to a daily word count area. It's like such an admirable goal. Well done. Well done. God, I... What I would give. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just like... Taylor account. Yep, Yori is writing. Uh, I doubt anyone would be interested in 95 stuff. Don't already know, but yeah, fair. That is a very good point. Very good point. How's the last night? It's my best writing time. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, it's um, it's amazing what like the right time period can do. Hey, I've been going for runs again now that most of my because my running track was underwater with the floods, and even once the water receded, of course, it was still completely trashed. There are still bits and pieces along where I run that has like that have got all like danger tape and stuff all over them to prevent people from trying to use it or enter the area or anything like that um, so it's all still a bit of a mess but um, most of it is is pretty clear um, a, lot, a lot of it's covered in sand and, and dirt and stuff like that but it's still like workable and they're allowing people through um, so I've been I've been exercising and I'm feeling really good about it. I mean, I'm dying, but I'm feeling really good about it. Um, so that's nice. But we'll see. I'm trying to just... Just trying to keep moving. Just try to keep doing it. Just take it one, one workout at a time, not look too far ahead. Just kind of... You know, because, um, yeah. It's, uh... I don't want to get frightened of what's ahead. I just want to take it one day at a time. And if I, if I do a particular run and it just feels like death afterwards, then I won't skip forward to the next stage. I'll do that one again until it feels not quite as death-like. Um, 
But yeah, so far so good. So far so good. It's been, like, it's been difficult. It has not been easy. Um, but I felt okay. I felt like I worked hard, but not like I need to die. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. I think that when we're talking to Kraz, I'm not sure how many of you are here, if you remember about it, um, but we were talking about, uh, like, my, my resting heart rate and my peak and all that kind of stuff. Um, and how my score, my, my cardio fitness score, according to the Fitbit, was like, girl, you trash. Um, my fitness score has actually improved. It was fair to average, and now it says good. So, I don't know if it's just become more accurate, or less accurate, or what, but, um, something has changed. And the Fitbit's happy about it. So, that's good. I'm pleased. <laughs> mm. Half hours exercising, getting paid for it. Well done. Well done. Always a good thing. Um. Good job, meaty. I have a feeling that is. The result of either dropping a laptop or a small creature. I hope everything's okay. I hope it's not too damaged. Hey, bless you. Yeah! <laughs> that exercise has been paying attention to my head. I wasn't dying. Just give me like that, you monster. No. Well, if I'm saying I'm dying with a smile on my face, then it should be fine, right? No. If, if I, honestly, if I had some kind of super duper heavy news, like I, I had some kind of terminal illness or something like that, I wouldn't be telling you about it while playing Blingtron with the camera in the corner. Um, that'd be the kind of situation where I'd turn off all the sound effects, sound commands and stuff, and I'd sit there full camera and we'd talk about it. You know what I mean? Like it'd be a proper kind of that sort of deal. Um, I'm... I know, like, there are some topics that need to be taken seriously, and, and so I will take them seriously. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Yeah! I did, I did get some good news though. I, um, I swallowed my fear, I swallowed my anxiety around pestering my colleague. Um, and at work, we have a marketing manager who is phenomenal. It's fantastic. Um, judging by the stuff I've learned about how our like how our business accounts and stuff, social accounts have been performing lately. She's just phenomenal. And um, I swallowed my fear and anxiety around approaching her about personal stuff and I emailed her because she's jetting off soon. And, uh, and I said, look, here's the thing. You know, we mentioned this briefly a little while ago, but here's what I'm like, what, what do you, and I asked her about the, the uh, Instagram growth plans. And she basically told me, don't pay for those. They're a waste of money. Everything that could be contained in them should be given out for free because it's not like, it's such a small part of everything else that needs to be done that it's, that's essentially free advice that you'd be paying hundreds of dollars for. So don't do that. So I was like, okay. Um, beyond that, she actually offered to go and grab a coffee like on personal time and and take a look at my accounts and and see if there's anything that she thinks she could teach me that would be of benefit which is amazing so i am just so grateful so so grateful and i will be paying for her coffees um and obviously I've, I've offered to pay her for a time as well but she hasn't responded yet but yeah i am i'm very excited um we don't have it but you don't have nothing scheduled or anything like that but um i'm i'm really looking forward to quite literally learning from a professional in the field about what I can do to better my chances of, of making it. And um, I, am, I am just so grateful. So grateful. Uh, all right, so that means that this one. All right. So yeah, that's fun news. Yeah, I'm going to again, 109 days away from my trip. That's 
you indeed. Damn it, Illidan was saying hi, I guess. Hi, Illidan. I agree. Hi, Illidan. There's still no rare. BT dubs. Has not spawned yet. Uh, that's awesome, right? Lovely person. Yeah, she's she's genuinely like super, super lovely. Um so I'm I'm really keen. Cause we we very briefly mentioned, um, like uh, cause she asked me at the Christmas party how my stuff was going. Cause we don't really see each other very much because I don't work in the office. So she asked me how everything was going and I explained, you know, I'm getting there, but I'm kind of struggling with the social media side of things. And she said, you know, well, I, I made a plan for, for such and such a person and blah, 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 blah. Um, and she also actually offered to, at, for an hourly rate, run like campaigns and stuff for me. And she put in brackets, mates rates, of course. And I was like, Aww. So, like, I feel like I've made a really good connection in that world, and hopefully it'll lead to some pretty phenomenal things. But until then, please follow me on Instagram. Uh, Zam, Draz, Welsh, Silver, SL, Meaty, Fade, and Ben, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. And decent news this week, we're on a fitness journey, I'm going to call a tricky boy at 120. New dietitian revealed I'm 85, fat free mass, and root is a lot than what I feared. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's good, Frank. Wonderful. Or Jay. Fuck. Look, I'm brain. It's fine. It's fine. Oh! Loyalty super boss chest. We're halfway through. Make sure you place your units in this one. Because this is the chest where you're going to get, like, 50, 60 scrolls from, from the chest. So this is the one you absolutely want to place in. Um... Please, 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 please make sure you place those units. Because it's so, so worth it. Um, this one? Yes. No. Uh, me too, advice over coffee, those are the best kind of deals, right? Absolutely. And like, yeah, she just, I think because I know nothing, all the stuff, like all the basics that I could learn to really kind of get me ahead of where I am currently is basic bitch stuff because I don't know what I'm doing. And so I think that's kind of why she's offering it just as like a chat because she's like, yeah, yeah, like, you know, this is this is the stuff we kind of assume clients already know. So, <laughs> um, but like, yeah. So it, it's yeah. I'm I'm really excited. I'm I'm really looking forward to being able to sit down with her and um, and get some stuff, kind of hammered out and just see, see where it takes me. You know. And then if it's like, you know, okay, cool, I've got that, and then I hit another plateau, it's like, okay, what's the next step, and then what's the next after that, etc, etc. So yeah, I'm, um, it's just, it's all about, you know, you're constantly learning, forever learning. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's super cool. I'm really, really excited. Because you know, you guys, all of you know how much I've been really, like, gunning for this stuff for, like, for a while now. It's been like a year since I really started pushing my social media. So I think I'm now at the point where like I've learned as much as I can from the internet. I now start needing to like do proper stuff. Uh, I'm sure because you're so this has been experience and less weird in my head. I get, I totally know what you mean though, Seeker. It's totally all right. Um, oh dear, thank you for the socials link. Battle in forever, you should join us. Join us. Yeah, it's all happening. Very exciting. Very exciting. And hey, who knows? Maybe, maybe down the track, the stuff that I've learned, I'll be able to share, you know? And like, yeah. Make those connections in the industry and stuff. for what I learned. Yeah, we were talking about the whole, like, Patreon potential thing. Maybe once I've actually got enough um, proper knowledge under my belt, 
be something worth actually Shilling feels like the wrong word, but it also feels like the right word. <laughs> Dear. But I hate when this happens. You got two of them so close together. Okay, that's the wrong one. Good. It, it is. Yeah, good evening. How are you going? Very well, thank you, Dono. How are you doing? You're having a wonderful evening. Waiting for a, a mob to a rare mob to respawn and it's got a one hour spawn timer. So I thought I'd pull out ye old um Tron while we await their arrival. That's got four. That's the wrong one. That's why they're not connecting. Hey, there we go. Circle complete. Are you so we're glad it's over? Look at the look of that game. This is great fun. This is the Blingtron circuit design tutorial. You can purchase it from the auction house. Or you can make it with engineering. It is a lot of fun. Great to pass the time while you're waiting for rares to spawn too. Oh, Oh, posture check. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Delightful. Okay. Check him. Oh, one of my potions just wore off, I think. Still had a bunch of them on from the sprite data hatchling. Uh, sorry, the sun data hatchling. I'm really glad I've finally got that. It's something I've been meaning to do for such a long time, and to be able to do it while you guys were here was a really, like, that's super awesome. Super rewarding experience. Ta da! It's a guess. What is this? This is level 21. Oh, and that's us. I definitely did not need help. <laughs> All good. All good. Okay. Go. Alright, come on. 
can't take it. There's a grappling hook up to there, but there's not one down to the other side. You needed zero help, correct. I did pop literally everything though. Like all of my cooldowns. Just, I, I do that. If I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it, I just pop everything in to give myself the best chance, including lust. Um, but hey, it worked. That's what matters, right? Let's go to the Beast Warrens then. We are 62% through this guide. The end of the guide is Mount Get. <clears throat> Do you feel the more daring at your No, not mind? you, Beast Warrens. It's telling me to go and do the Shade Hounds hunt. It's not. Ah, uh, use the Stitcher Dust. Stitcher Nexuses. Oh, I need 198 Stitcher Dust. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, sure. I, I see what it wants now. I need to look for yellow dots on the map. This is the farming bit. I realized it was a farming bit. It's gonna take a while. Ah, uh, there must be a bunch like underground in that cave for the bound shade hound thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Why does it say it's up? It must be like up in that cage or something. It's like never ending or something. Doesn't have like a farming route or anything either, which is a touch upsetting. Nothing. Down there. Must just be a bunch of spawn points in this little location.
Damn it. I don't think we're going to finish this one today. <laughs> but we can try. We can absolutely try. Jeebus. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, yeah, that's why it's directed me here, because there's a ton around here. Alright, that makes sense. one that's not on the map. Oh, I only have one thing in it. Well, this will be a fun thing to do for the rest of the stream. the stepping stones up to the tall one.
ten stitched dust. Milestone. Seems to have respawned. Or I'm lying. Either or. <laughs> what? How is that hitting me? normal. Around the skies of the Beast Warrens. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, that was a farming ticket. What you need? Yep. Yep. That's fine. Ooh. Gotta start somewhere. This is probably this is the most concentrated area, which is why Zygos telling me to come here. There are a lot of other nodes elsewhere, but this is like oh, this one's up on the jigs. Might as well do the Shade Hounds while I'm here, right? Might be able to score myself a mount.
No mount for fear. But that was only my fourth attempt, so like. There is one down up there, actually. There it is. You should go click on that rather than having to open up the thing in your bags. That's okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna finish the dust well before the slivers. Get it anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's not actually how it works. I know you get angry at me when it doesn't work that way, but sometimes, sometimes it's a little different. Doesn't show the caves on the map either. Oh, um, May. That's funny. Eh? Oh, maybe over here. No, it's a cliff. Good. Good. There's a n there's a nexus underneath here. It's literally here, but straight down. So Some fun stuff coming up in May. I'd also have to change some stuff in April. Um, just depending on how next week turns out. He is keeping secrets. He is keeping secrets. Thank you for the contribution to the extreme challenge. How close are we to 75? Seventy-three percent. We need to hit seventy-five percent tonight in order to stay on track to unlock it in May. What am I in combat with? Good bloody question. There we go, look at that. 75% completed. Thank you very much, Fade. Look at what you did. Do not mean do not think that that means you, you don't have to contribute anymore though. Like we could finish it tonight. We could finish the whole thing tonight. If that is what chat wants. If you would like to contribute, so a tail a TikTok a tale for two is a video game. It is available on Steam if you want to look it up and have a look at what the actual game is, but it's a puzzle game essentially. But it's two player, you have to play with two people, 
and each person gets like part of the puzzle. So you need to work together and communicate in order to finish the puzzles. So the deal is that if it's completed, Jas and I will play together and it will entertain all of you. But we need to hit the goal to make it happen. It'd be super cool if we did. It would be. It would mean we could take Sunday off of um of campaigning. Okay, congratulations to Welsh, Neke, Icy, Fade, Ali, and Sika on all your bonus shit. Boss defeated, and it was a super loyalty boss chest too. I hope you all got really tasty rewards there. Uh, let us begin. That all. Follow the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. I'm 10% of the way for dust. So that's a start. <clears throat> I should just click the little thing. Oh. Oh. What? Targeting. Targeting. Million gold since 9 2. Well done, Jack. Well done. <clears throat> Good job. Very impressive. Code, you're very welcome, Chris. Not a problem at all. Hey, should we think you black potion? Yeah. Maybe people don't know. Like, that's another thing. Maybe people don't understand. Like, they don't know that that's, a, like, yeah. Okay, I see. Oh, hi! This is 
Yay for food! But I'm quite hungry actually. Hey. Fuck. What have you eaten today? Um, two bowls of cereal. Yay! Ooh, cinnamon steak. Yeah, I didn't bring those. <laughs> That's okay. So I put cinnamon on it instead. Delicious. How are you? Oh, okay. A bit much higher where the fan is. Gotcha. Yeah, be careful. I'm not a paladin. <laughs> yes, it is. Dear. Oh, there you go. I'm 10% of the way on both of them now. Good job. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Thank you for Good dinner. Job. Grab my stitcher while I'm here. My 130 stitch you back. Brilliant. God, those would be so much easier if we had flying in the morning. <laughs> Probably why we don't, honestly. Our I bubble tea sounds. Outside Hellguard Keep. Thin their numbers before they have the chance to strike. sub welcome to the fear nutty i hope you're having a fantastic day much appreciated i hope that means you're enjoying the stream would you like our chill content here sometimes it's just a little more chill than other times <laughs> i might go back to the other area there's just so many more spawn points down here so even if it is a 10 minute respawn, there's just so many of them that there's, you know, more popping up every couple minutes. I just need to figure out how to run laps around the little area without aggroing too much. Play the grapple hook puzzles. God, there are enough of them in this little area that I can probably just sit in the middle and wait for them to pop. Look how many there are. There's one down from here. What's that? Is that what you discovered that it's not steak yet? Oh, is it not steak? No. What is it? It's pork. Oh, what happened to the steak? It died. No, we got pork out yesterday. We didn't realize. <laughs> that was very red pork. Yeah, yeah, it was. That was very red pork. Thank well, you no, no, so no, no, much no, no, for no. the bubble tea. Hey, oh, is this? <gasps> it's grapefruit. It's but grapefruit. Yeah, I'm I, so excited. I, I pulled them out of the fridge and I was like, you're pink. That's not steak color. Regardless, it's really tasty. Hey, where the hell is this? It's directly down from here. 
There's got to be a cave in here, right? Yeah, should be on the right. On the right. No. Oh no, you get to kill a lot of mobs. Maybe. <laughs> and mage, remember? Now you get to run away from a lot of mobs. I, I just doing the runaway thing. I don't know another link shit. <laughs> yes, bubble tea. You don't want to see any. None of that. You haven't killed that Everything. one yet. Everything. <laughs> Everything was your fault. All of it. Some total of everything. Um, hello, Uppa! I don't want to see how many Inky Black Precious I currently have across 12 servers. Maybe I do. Maybe it's- I'm guessing it's like thousands. Oh, excuse me. I really, like... I understand that it's this, this scary place and you can't tell what's going on and stuff, but like, I really wish once you had. Well, after dinner. Thank you. You have to finish dinner first. It's mum. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I will. Thank you. I appreciate it. Where the hell is this cave? It must be. Is it this I one? Don't know. Google it. No. It's not a cave. It's not a cave. It was this one, but I don't think this is it. Could be though. So if I have a sort of it's got eight K pots. Jesus. Oh my god. Why do you make gold across so many servers? Like because you can't really transfer it easily between them. You didn't know it was what it would be. Uh, a steak. <clears throat> we um when we buy our meat, uh, when we do our grocery shop, we often buy more meat than we need. Uh, and so we portion them up and freeze them. And so we talked about getting some steak, like beef steaks, out of the freezer. And so we grabbed uh, a pack that had two red cuts of meat. And we're like, okay, red is steak because, you know, pork is lighter. Pork is like a pale pink sometimes, right? Um, and so we pulled the red thing out of the freezer and stuck it in the fridge to defrost. But when it defrosted, it turns out it's pork, not steak, like not not beef. Um, it's just very red pork, very red pork. Um, but that's okay. It's delicious nonetheless. Welcome on in digital. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If it's stuff like you keep like this limited demand on my servers. Yeah, ad just happened. That's very odd. I see. Um, if you've got. Uh, actually, I'll wait for the ad to finish. Okay, ad should have been finished. Baby I see. Um, tune da 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 da, baby tune da 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 da. Remember that if you have a an ad blocker active, um, the ad blocker might confuse. So the the website when it checks whether or not you're a subscriber, the ad blocker can ch can block that check, which can result in ads for subs. So maybe check that. Hey Ari, long time no see. How are you, love? Welcome back. Ah, uh, servers that don't have people solely handling inky blacks on their servers express it when down for a while, sale rates go almost hundred percent. Oh my god. That's amazing. So good to see you too, Ari. So good to see you. Where it's just me. Where is this one? 
in the pit of anguish lower level okay where's the where's the pit of anguish um is that is that the big one where you go for the shade hound quest maybe so I'm now blocking for twitch there you go yeah um apparently there's because um every time it goes to run an ad it runs a script to check whether or not you're a sub and so therefore whether or not to send you an ad and if if you've got an ad blocking script it can't check whether or not you're a sub so it gives you an ad but somehow the ad gets around the ad blocker so yeah ad blocker can cause ads rather than blocking them um <laughs> So yeah, that's fun. <clears throat> um, you have a lot of gold? I do, I do. I've got just over three million at the moment on uh, Horde side. I've got um, just under a million on Alliance side now too. I haven't been doing my garrisons to make gold in like months now because I've had just the, how do I put this? I've had the most interesting year so far just thing after thing after thing after thing has happened so i haven't had time so like in january i was doing all my 50 50s leveling and so i didn't really have time to do my garrisons because i was trying to focus on getting the leveling done before lovers in the air then in february lovers in the air happened so i was doing all of those uh heartbreaker runs 50 characters every day for the 15 days i ended up doing 750 runs no heartbreaker um, and halfway through, or just like three quarters of the way through all that, uh, my parents, my mum and my stepdad actually came to visit uh, up from Melbourne. And it was the first time in two years that I'd seen either of them because of COVID. So it was amazing and awesome and great. But it was the same time as I was doing my runs and I was just so exhausted, so, so dead. Um, to the point that I actually got sick. Um, I ended up with a throat infection after all that was done and uh, <laughs> and I had to end I ended up having to postpone my six year celebration because I couldn't talk I, I had no voice um, so that was a time uh, and then once I was getting better from the throat infection the Brisbane floods happened. Um, so we lost power for a week, like lost mains power for a week. We ended up getting a generator for the apartment building about halfway through the week, but it wasn't enough power to be able to run all the streaming stuff. So it was a time and a half and just everything was ruined. <laughs> and then after the, after the floods cleared up, however you want to put that, um, after, after I got power back and everything, we did the six year anniversary stream and then I had my surgery scheduled. So then I went in for surgery and took a couple days off straight. Like it's just, it's been one thing after another, after another, after another. And I just, so I, I haven't had a chance to see, like catch up with any of my favorite people and all that. It just, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a time but we're back to we're back to to regularly scheduled programming uh as of as of nowish and hopefully we'll keep on keeping on but that's me how are you <laughs> how are you going what is going on in the world of ari um add enabler as opposed to add blocker yes correct did you get the 50 50s i did did i get them out no I did get my 50 tunes, but I didn't get them out because it's a silly and a meanie poo head and it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Exactly, yeah, absolutely. Health always, 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 always comes first. Um, it just sucks sometimes when, you know, you've, you've been doing really, really well and everything has been building and building and building and then everything just starts slipping through your fingers because of stuff out of your control, you know? It just, it felt really dodgy. It, like, it felt really bad. Um, but I'm back on track and I've got a, um, a marketing manager from my, my day job. Uh, I'm going to have a sit down with her and um, look over all my socials and stuff and she's going to help me 
She's gonna help me learn social media, which is just such like, oh my god, I'm I feel so grateful. So so grateful that she's willing to do that with me. And um yeah, so look, it's all happening. I've just gotta get back on back on the track and and keep kicking some butt and uh look, fingers crossed. Uh, it didn't do too much lasting damage. Good, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad to hear that. I haven't touched this game since last year, no way! Oh my goodness. I have noticed you've been, every time I've seen you live, um, I've seen you in just chatting. Like, what have you been playing? Apart from, obviously, chatting. <laughs> what, have, what have you found yourself sucked into these days? Oh, the Love Rocket never drops. On Love Rocket, yeah. Well, it's not called the Love Rocket anymore. It's called the Heartbreaker, um, and it's a quite an accurate name because it broke my heart again. Uh, start my streams and just chatting. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, what have you, what have you been, what have you been playing? Like, what's caught your eye lately? Give us your top couple picks. What should we all be getting? What I remember, you have pretty good taste in games, so, uh, well worth getting your recommendations. Oh no, it's down there? Okay, poop. Um, what's this one? Right, a grapple point on a rock. Where? This one. It's down again. Oh, it's down further. Okie dokie. Uh, that's gonna hurt me if I... <laughs> oh no. It's fine, it's fine, it's... No, it's not. Okay. Oh, I've got a war as you're talking about. When I'm clapping... Ooh! They all sound really good. I'm glad you've been having a blast, though. Must feel good to get into the variety, get to play something different every day of the week. Really quite the adventure of so much change. It's been so much fun. Oh, good. I'm really, really glad to hear that. It's nothing worse than like, especially like when you're content creating, changing up your schedule so drastically. Like really, like really shaking things up can be so scary. Like you know what what happens to the numbers? Then what happens to like? Do people still watch? Are they watching for the game? Are they watching for me? What is going on? Like, yeah, all that. And then discovering that as you're going along and, and finding that you are retaining your viewers and that they are there for you and not for the game, not for just the game. It, it really, like, God, it just, it fills your heart, doesn't it? It, feel, it, it just fills the bucket of happiness <laughs> to know that they care. I've been addicted to Elden Ring way too much recently. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it though, Jack. That's the big thing, hey. Mm, audience has changed so much. I'm so happy people actually want to hang out and not just join my keys. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They don't just want to carry. They want to actually like spend time listening to your thoughts and feelings and all that kind of and watching you potentially fail, but also potentially massively succeed. Communities are just like, oh, they're so awesome. I genuinely don't know. Like, I don't know how I'd function without my community these days. Like, it's... This whole thing is just such an integral part of who I am, you know? And I'm sure I'm sure you feel the same way, Ari. Like what what would we do if we just didn't stream? Like <laughs> I mm, I can tell you I slept a lot after surgery. Uh, when I didn't have power, we bought a we bought a puzzle book and Jas and I did a whole lot of crosswords. Uh, <laughs> um, but beyond that, I don't know what I'd do. Make it super fun. Enjoy and fun a relative. Hey, fun isn't always like party poppers and sparkles and bubbles and stuff. Like sometimes fun is bashing your head against something until it works. Please refer spreadsheets. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just here for the fishing streams. God, they've look, we've had a couple of them lately, haven't we, maybe? Um, Ari, with the the um my six year anniversary stream, it was a 12 hour, right? And um I'm like, yeah, we're gonna start off by fishing up an item 
in Xerath Mortis to, to start the thing to get a mount. I'm like, yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Eight hours and 15 minutes of fishing later. I literally spent eight out of my 12 hour stream fishing. So that's nice. <laughs> Uh, enjoying things in this economy. I know, you look, you can still have fun. It is a thing. You can enjoy yourself. Legit. Oh, fun in Elden Ring is bashing a big bonk against something until either it or your soul <laughs> breaks. That sounds about right. Fishing stream, best stream? Yeah, I, I, look, I have to agree. I do actually have a few collectibles from fishing. I still don't have a couple of pets, I think. Um... And then uh, on Wednesday, we were supposed to do a Dark Moon Fair stream, try to get some collectibles and achievements and stuff like that. And I did, I got a fair few. Uh, but I spent a couple of hours fishing for a 1 in 2,000 drop chance hat from the water. It, everything I do lately is becoming fishing. Unfortunately, I, these Stygia bits for the mount, I can't fish those up. Otherwise, I would absolutely be doing that because running around checking all these spawn points is um, is getting tedious. As I'm sure you're all feeling. I got my money's worth that day! <laughs> oh lord, made my bed earlier. That's spreading sheets, right? Correct. Observe maximum spread. Oh no. Oh no. It's, it's been, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. Ah, spreadsheet love! I love that emote. It's so, it's just perfect. Shiba did such a good job with it. Such a good job. Is that a, it is. Les, how are you going today? Mm -hmm. She did such a good job with all the emotes that Shiba has done. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I'm going pretty good. I had a, uh, Fairly productive day. I thought I would have more time to get a few things done, um, but then I had a had a very interesting Zoom call. I'm keeping secrets again. It's happening again. Um, so that was that was interesting and nice and uh, could result in something. No. Uh -oh. result in something fun and nice um, but we'll see we're still it's still very early stages very early stages so I'm not holding my breath just um gonna see where it goes gonna see where it goes has a chance it has the potential to go to some uh, really nice places so that's nice um this really is a secret stream isn't it correct correct i'm glad you're doing okay les okay is usually better than shit so i'm i'm glad you're feeling okay that's good to hear secrets on a secret honey stream i know i know how appropriate how appropriate oh we got a new one spawn so, so pretty. Aw, thank you, Ari. Thank you. The crazy one is adorable. I love it so much. I um, I saw a few people that had kind of similar sort of stuff, and I said to Shiva, "I'm like, can you put fear in? Uh, you can't see it. It's off camera." 
Damn it. Uh, can you, this here, this this one just here, can you put fear in the Woody? Uh, and it's a Tweety Bird Woody, and it's a, it's like hot pink, and um, and it's so snuggly, and uh, so Sheba was like, yes, <laughs> yes I can. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous, I love it so much. Yeah, <laughs> all of those alterations. I got your DM. Um, I just got it during stream, so I will handle it later. Okay. Oh. Use grapple points. Can do. No worries. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Very much yes. Yeah, it's literally, it's just kind of... Like, when when I'm like, oh, new emote idea, I, I DM Shiva and I'm like, hey. She was like, what kind of emote do you want? And then I just describe it as best I can using nothing that resembles an actual word. Uh, and then, like, you know, X amount of time later, she was like, here is a thing. And I'm like, ah, money. Yeah, it's, it's nice. We have a pretty good arrangement. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm I'm incredibly happy with my emotes. They're just super cute, super super cute. It's already being used. You have no like cast bar or anything for the dowser, so you can't see what's actually happening. It's very confusing. <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes somebody else DMs Shiba and says, "Can you design this for fear?" and I will pay. Mm -hmm. We still have a bunch of emote slots left, but um, I am broke, so. <laughs> yeah, right? It's how awesome is that? Like, it's just so freaking awesome. So awesome. Uh, I'm at 20% for dust, uh, just under 20% for the slivers. So where? I wouldn't say we're getting there, but we're we're not like we're not not making progress. Da 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 da. -da. Bah. Am I out of combat yet? Do I have no invis isn't up yet. Crap. Uh, congratulations to Red Alley Ben Channel Kludgy FPS uh, and Zam. On all of your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, give me just a second, because I am uh, I am dying. All the dying is not a good thing. Yep, yeah, you heard it. <laughs> we all heard it. It's fine. It's fine. And I can't reach any of the gravel points. Oh, I think I am out of combat. Fantastic. All right. Boom. Uh, a little bit. 3, 3 a.m. Enjoy. Rest well, Shiba. We'll see you next time. Good sleeps indeed. Mm-hmm. Your schedule's knocking me for six. Oh no! Well, I hope you're feeling a bit better soon. I'm not sure what new schedule, um, which one you exactly you're referring to, but um, I hope that you'll climatize to it shortly. It does suck, like having to shift up things. Sniffles. Love being unwell. Do 
believe this is where the green lump is. It is. Fantastic. Let us douse it. Oh, come on. Really? I forgot. I got one dust from that. Lord. Help me. to spawn at the moment, are they? Oh, and now it has. Good lord. I see it. one down from here as well. Dust. Dust. Sliver. Dust. That's it. Not bad. Dust. One dust. Good. Oh, excuse me. Hello, fight. How are you doing? Welcome back. If I ever needed any stitcher, I've bloody got it now. Let me tell you. Over three thousand at the moment. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Sliver, sliver. Sliver and dust. There we go. So we're now officially uh, 40. So we're 48 and 42. <clears throat> I don't think we'll be done before the end of stream. But... This is certainly going better than I thought it would. So that's nice. So for anyone who has kind of tuned in fairly recently, I am currently doing the Bound Shade Hound uh, quest, and I'm up all well, the secret, and I'm currently up to the bit where you need to farm up 200 each of the dust and the slivers using your dowser that you bought from Venari, and um, Shiba checked the Wowhead comments, and according to them. Um, it's, it's around four to five hours of farming for the, um, things. I'm not sure if that was, like, when it all started, and I'm also not sure if the little green clouds are, like, shared spawns or not, or if they're, like, a personal spawn. 
Um, so... Yes, but, um, it's, uh... <laughs> slow goings. The, uh, apparently each spawn location of the Nexus, the Stygian Nexus of the little tiny green glowy orby things, um, that pop up all over the moor. Literally, like, all over the moor. Um, and you use your dowser next to them and you have a chance to get the dusts or the slivers both varying amounts and you need 200 each so it takes a little while that's what we're working on at the moment watching my map as i accidentally run through packs upon packs upon packs of mobs <laughs> basically is what i'm doing any kids didn't know when you started this part? Yeah. It's a, look, I've been doing it for a bit now. Um but Honestly, it's not too too bad. If you've got semi decent gear from Corthia, it's um you should not Corthia, bloody uh, Zerath Mortis. It like things die fairly quickly. Um so it's not too dangerous. Uh, and there are not many people around here anymore either um there is a stygian nexus and it's down vanquish all right let's go do that um yes it's, it's, not, it's not too bad um but i would definitely get something going on the second screen or, or getting into a, a convert like a call or whatever with with mates or something like it's uh it's a whole thing like it it's gonna take you a while um, uh, so the reverse fantastic well done congratulations That's a skittering break over. Nexus is on this side of the wall. So that I don't interrupt my channel. Hmm. Let's give this a crack. I need it for achievement anyway. <clears throat> Apparently that was the last thing I needed for the achievement. Bloody brilliant! Oh, that's awesome. That was an accident, and I don't care. I'm quite happy with that. So there's more of those things. <laughs> yep. I'm very glad I went down there to do that now, because I got an achievement out of it. Yay! Woo! Exactly. I'm kind of curious, like I know the moor is like, my, my percentage completion on the moor is trash. I don't even have the battle pets, oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> it's alright. Um, we've got a pet stream coming up, don't we? Yeah, in May. Got a, that was last week's uh, goal, last week's community challenge. It was the battle pet stream. So, um, I guess we know where I'm going to be. I'm going to be in ZM and I'm going to be in the moor. Bum, bum. So I love accidental achieves. Yeah, like I knew I needed it for it. I didn't know that was the last one I needed. Feels good. Feels good. Hmm. 
Mm. 50 dust. Go the way there. make those conditions in today because it's called so uh, achievement hunting rare mount farming um i'm not really sure exactly it's uh, i find it fun it's, it's setting myself a challenge that's achievable and then achieving it it's a sense of satisfaction i guess i don't know um i know that a lot of people don't feel the same way about those kind of challenges and that's totally okay uh but yeah it just I guess it just makes my brain happy. Um, and I think, like, I mean, a number of years ago, it would have been a drive to be the best, the, the, like, number one anywhere and everywhere and blah, 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 blah. Uh, and, but that's definitely not my motivation. I mean, it's nice to see, it's, oh, my number's gone up. I've, I've ranked up, I've gone up a rank. Or, you know, I need three... Excuse me, I need three more mounts to gain one rank or whatever. Like, that kind of information is is fun to have and it's interesting, but that's not the driving motivation anymore. It's not a sense of competition, except for, like, competition with my past self. Um, having, you know, a better number than I did yesterday sort of thing. Uh, I, I'm still quite competitive, but I'm a hell of a lot better sport than I used to be. Uh, I, I've matured a fair bit in the last few years in that regard, I think. But, uh, yeah, I think it's just, it's just a sense of accomplishment. Um, you know, when, when you achieve a personal goal, it feels good. Uh, whether that goal is, uh, like a health or fitness goal, if it's a career goal, like any promotion or a raise or earning a certificate or, um, whatever it happens to be, like if you have a goal that you set yourself and then you achieve it, it feels good. Um, so I think that's just what it is. It's a series of smaller goals. Earn Mount X, earn Mount Y, earn Mount B, earn Mount M, um, and then once that one's done, go for another one. Because there's always going to be more to farm. I don't think I'll ever catch up. Um, I mean, I'm I'm making progress. Like each patch, I'm getting more mounts in a patch than the patch has introduced. Um, so like, if there's forty, there's there's forty one new mounts that they released with nine two. Um, so that means that before they release like the next big patch with more mounts and stuff, I, I need to earn 42 mounts, you know? So it's, uh, and I've done, a f I'm on my way. I'm definitely on my way. I've gotten a few since 9.2 launched, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just, uh, it's fun to me, I guess. Uh, I don't want to be the very best like no one ever was. Look, yes, there is a, there's definitely a part of me that likes being first on a server, or even second or third. Uh, it definitely feels good, but I know that I'm not going to make it that high. I know I'm not going to be number one across the board, because the people who are currently have a hell of a lot more time to be able to spend on these aspects of the game. So the, all the time that I'm spending scheduling socials or responding to emails or spending in Zoom calls or whatever it is trying to grow my career, those people are spending that time mount farming, for example. So like, I don't really have a chance. We're in different, we're in different circumstances. It's, it's like someone who's three foot tall trying to get rank one 
in a long jump competition against someone who's six feet tall. Like, it just, it's not gonna happen. Like, it's not, that's not how that works, you know? So, although, yes, it is really nice to go up in the rankings, it's not, I'm not, like, angered when it doesn't happen or anything. If that makes sense. I just love seeing me improve against myself. The numbers are a measure rather than I'm better than you. Exactly, exactly. It does, like... When, when I got my 50-50s, I was in the top 300 in the world for total, at, like, alt levels. And now I'm not again, because other people are still leveling. And uh, so that kind of was, it's like, ugh. But the thing is, like, I've got not a whole lot to gain from leveling more, you know? It's, yeah. There was a, there was a specific purpose in mind for getting the 50-50s. Um, so getting 50-60s would just be for the fun of it, which, although is not, although that's good, it's not what I'm after right now. Springs in the shoes. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, improving against myself and seeing like how many mounts I can get over a period of time and all that kind of stuff is is really quite fun. I do enjoy it. Boogie down! <laughs> I'm trying to, like, get into a route to, to, like, run the same pattern through all these dots in my- and it's not working. I can't figure out what I'm doing. Where I want to go. That's okay. That's okay. We're at 58 dust and 53 slivers. Doing alright. Doing alright. We're not gonna get to 200 of each tonight. Unless some miracle happens and the server breaks and all of them respawn all at once and stay up continuously or forever. Uh, <laughs> but um, I reckon I reckon I'm doing pretty okay. Check another account, which I know isn't on the cards right now. You can't be the best with levels, so you'd only get so far with 50, 60. Mm. Correct. Correct. I'd still get into the top, uh, I think it's 200. But, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need a lot more than... You, you need multiple accounts to do that. Like, the person who's first in the world has no fewer than eight accounts. That's okay, but uh, yeah, I've got a few things that are slightly more important for me to focus on. <clears throat> Maybe one day I'll get to the point where I've got other people doing some of the work for me. Um, and I can spend more time on, you know, cultivating my account and stuff and make that like a selling point of the stream. Uh, but at this point, that's not feasible. You can get a full time streaming, the rest is easy. Correct. Correct. Once I'm full time streaming. Yeah, everything will, everything will fall into place. Instead of spending my day on Tuesday doing payroll and my day on Thursday doing invoices, I can spend the whole day banging out socials and then not have to do it for a month. Like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, 100%, please do follow on the socials. Uh, tell your friends, tell your friends. And um, let's, let's get it going. Jas is only just contributing to the puzzle stream. One might think he doesn't want to do puzzles with me. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. 
934 followers. Big thanks to the two who have followed during today's stream. Many appreciates. Just get some friends until. Hey now! Hey now. A friend, such a strange concept. <laughs> uh, they're people you meet up with at PAX. Ah, well done, Icy. Enjoy. I hope it's. I hope you have an absolute blast. You know what I think I might do for this later? Because I know I'm not going to finish this this stream. That's okay. If it's a 10 minute respawn timer, um, it might be worth just every so often setting myself up at one of the spawn points and timing it and just like having a look at how long it, how long it takes to respawn and then just doing something else while I camp it. <laughs> PAX indeed, Ali, indeed. We are having a PAX meetup. I will be there. Jas will be there. Come say hi. Jas suggested that I need to, um, like, figure out what my signature will be, like, as Fia, rather than my real name. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, what if people ask you to sign something? And I'm like, bullshit, people aren't gonna do that. And then I kind of sat there and I'm like, actually, people might just to fuck with me. <laughs> oh lord knowing you lot I feel like you absolutely would just to fuck with me it's like, why do they hurt so much yeah cramps are not very nice are they it's quite unhappy with the cramp where am I am I stuck now I think I'm stuck I am, I am stuck. Woo! All right, um, we're gonna go back to Oribos. Oh, they will now. <laughs> totally ask you to sign my Paladin t-shirt and I would happily do so, Zam. I will sign it. Fuck you, Zam. Love, fear. Applied to everything is it? Like, yeah, yeah. It's um, just print up some stickers and just slap them on stuff. It'll be fine. So, um, stickers on Teespring, on Spring, are either a singular die cut sticker, um, or a sheet of stickers, but they don't like laser cut around each design because that'd just be too much work. So you get like a sheet and you've got to cut them out yourselves. So I've been kind of umming and eyeing about whether or not it's worth doing that because I don't know how much that'd irritate people. Caps is important, love that. <clears throat> mm. 
Ooh, maple stream of you cutting out all the stickers. Oh lord. We're just chatting. We're we'll makers and crafting. <laughs> Although I guess what I could do, what I could do with that is um, talk to Sheebs about um, maybe getting copies of the emotes. Like uh, there are a couple that Sheba didn't design, but that's okay if I if I send them um, as well, and Sheba can maybe like measure out a few mil all the way around the design, and then draw like a thin black line to give you guys like a cutting template around them if that makes sense like a line to cut rather than just trying to estimate it by eye yourselves because i don't know about you but i'm terrible at that i'm like yeah that looks like about two mil yeah that looks like about two mil yeah that looks about two mil oh they're all different good like it's <laughs> you know <clears throat> easy done with the right software yeah i feel like i i feel like it'd be pretty easily done with the right software and i'm sure that Sheaves would have the right software or like could do it manually or something, I don't know. And then like talk about how much that it cost me to get them all done up with a line around them. Um, or whether or not that's even possible with the, the designs that we have. Um, oh look. Mm, I'm pretty sure we'll do it for sure. Cool, all right. Um, because I know, like, I, I use GIMP for all my stuff because, uh, free. And I know that, like, I can highlight the foreground being the emote. Uh, and then I can select that. And then I can, like, grow the selection by a couple of pixels or whatever. And then, like, wrap, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I know how to, I, I know, but I'd rather not just have it be a dodgy job. Like, I'd rather it be something clean and semi-professional. And I reckon Shiba would be much, 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 much better at that than I would be. Oh, I hydrate. My trust isn't sharp. This is a really sharp object. I mean, you could get your parents to do it for you. Or you could get a trusted adult. Or... <laughs> I used to use Gimway back in the day. It was so complex. Even the 2000s definitely sold as a way. Oh, it, it is definitely. Um, It does have some drawbacks Um, when compared to stuff like, uh, uh, like Photoshop and things like that. Like, I know it does because, you know... Uh, I'll find some kind of guide for doing something uh, and it's like in Photoshop use this tool and then I'll be like you know this tool GIMP equivalent and it'll be GIMP doesn't do this unfortunately this is something that is only offered in Photoshop and I'm like oh okay um, so I know that it does have some shortcomings but it doesn't cost $700 so <laughs> I know what I'm going with Uh, up a level. Okay, so it's around this way? Yep. Um, she's going way back. Yes. Already read that. My bad. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's definitely, uh, good software to be able to have access to. I also use it to do all the thumbnails for my YouTube videos and stuff. Just because it's really- I've got a template. Um, I take a screen grab from the stream, stick it in the background, edit the words. It's just, it's so easy and it takes me no time at all. Um, um, yeah, there, there's a couple of things that I do quite frequently in GIMP and I'm getting pretty quick at it. But uh, more complex stuff usually takes me a bit longer because I've got to Google like how to do this and how to do that and etc etc. But I'm sure that's the same for everybody.
Congratulations to you, Ma, FPS, Red, and Zam on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Uh, this battle. Click that link in chat, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Hmm. And this will be one of your last reminders as well about step one. If you are in need of some comfy underpants, might I suggest you take a look at the beautifully comfortable bamboo underwear from step one. Super comfy, they're super stretchy, they measure by waistband because the waistbands are quite snug and you know they're, they're elastic, big thick panel elastic so it kind of sits a little snug on you so you measure by that but the, the fabric that goes down your legs is super comfy like and it's so stretchy and just lovely and wonderful. I uh, highly recommend you take a look. And so many super funky designs too. I'm still pissed that I missed out on the Valentine's Day design for the women's range. Oof. Of course, I mean, they do have men's ranges uh, and a women's range, but you buy what's comfortable for you. You know, everybody is different. Everyone has personal preferences, and just because something says it's for men does not mean you cannot purchase it as a woman or somebody who is non-binary, etc. So feel free to take a look at a massive variety of different cuts and colors and all sorts of fun stuff. And you can use step 15 for 15% off. Uh, it is not affiliated. Um, I, it is not, like, I'm not affiliated with step one. I am, however, sponsored. They sent me seven pairs of underpants and I enjoy them thoroughly. And that was in return for blabbing and posting and all of that good shit. Um, so if you want to help me get sponsorships in the future, uh, one way you can do so that is entirely free is by uh, searching on my pages on on be that Twitter or step uh, step one good lord Twitter or Instagram uh, and uh, what's it uh, searching for step one on those platforms and interacting with the posts. It's it's really that easy. Like, share, comment, all that, reply, retweet, etc. Um, all those bits and pieces uh, will go into my engagement report that I have to generate for them. And the higher the engagement, the happier they're going to be. And the happier they are, the more likely they are to want to work with me again in the future. And when I make my pitch deck, once I hit over a thousand Instagram followers, once I, once I make my pitch deck and I stick on there, you know, brands previously worked with Logitech, Blizzard, Step One, Blue Microphones, Bubble Tea Club, etc., etc. If someone goes, oh, Step One, I know someone over at their marketing team. Let me let me get in contact with them and see how this influencer went. Oh, her engagement was super high. Ooh, that's cool. All right, yeah. Look, we might we might reach out to her and see if she's interested. Literally, that's how it works. This industry is, like, it's tiny. <laughs> it's, um, like, this this stuff, everyone just, yeah, it's, it's a thing, trust me. So that is how you help. Ah, uh, yes, the socials. Please do. Um, uh, I would absolutely adore a follow on Instagram. Is the it's the platform I'm trying to build at the moment. It's uh, like I'm pretty happy with how Twitter's going, um, but Instagram, I I'm yeah, I have actually, I'm I've reached out to my day job's uh, marketing manager, and I'm gonna have a sit down with her and see what I'm doing wrong because I know I'm doing something wrong. I have to be, but um, she's gonna help me sort out what I should be doing uh, in order to grow there. But in the meantime, I would absolutely love any follows I could get over there uh, because that is where the money is. Australia, the money is in Instagram. 
Um, but they're amazing. They look super comfy. They honestly extreme. They they really truly are. I, I'm. Yes, okay, they sent me them for free, and it's part of my contract, and blah, 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 of course, so, you know, take anything I say with a grain of salt, but I'm not kidding, they are the most comfortable underwear that I've ever worn. Um, they are just so good, and I actually, uh, like, there was a good few days there where I wasn't streaming and stuff that I literally lived in them, like, I never bothered putting pants on, because they're long enough that they kind of, they look basically like shorts anyway, they look, they look like bike shorts, they're just, uh, the fabric's a lot thinner, um, I wouldn't wear them in public because <laughs> um, the the shape of my booty uh, just it kind of yep cool it's a little inappropriate for public viewing um, but I, I wore them as shorts I've worked out in them as well like again at home I, I've popped on a crop top and done exercise in just my step ones and and it's just they're so goddamn comfy um, they're yeah I I genuinely highly recommend them. Um, and I will probably continue to do so even after my uh, contract is up because it, they're just, <laughs> they're just really good. They're just really good. Don't want to remind me I'm starting to use a new headset. Any suggestions on a good wired headset? I was thinking of sticking with Logitech. Wired. Okay. I, it's been a, it has been genuinely about six years since I've had a wired headset. Um, the G733 and these, the G435s, were the first headsets that I've had in five or six years um, because other headsets just hurt my ears and stuff and these just don't, uh, which is great because that's not what you want when you're, you know, streaming for 12 hours is sore ears from hour two onward. Uh, so I'm not, I haven't had any experience with the current range of wired headsets. Jass has one though. Jas currently has a wired headset. Um, he might be able to tell you about that one. He's just logged online. Um, if you're in chat, Jas, would you mind letting us know what model your headset is currently and what your uh, thoughts and feelings are on it? Because I know it's a Logitech one because I went and picked it up for him and I wouldn't have if it wasn't Logitech, so. <laughs> I live in step one. They're the freaking best. They are. Like, I wholeheartedly agree. They're just so good. So good. I'm, uh, I'm very much like, I can't throw things away until they're like dead and worn all the way through and all that. Like, I just can't, I, ca I can't bring myself to do it. Uh, but I have recently switched back to my old underwear so that I can try to wear them out so that I can justify getting rid of them and replacing them with more step ones. I'm not even kidding. I, I, like, I'm genuinely not kidding. I, I know that's silly and whatnot, but yeah, I, I need to <laughs> try to wear them out so that I can, I can buy more step ones to replace them. Or, you know, DM them three or four months from now and be like, hey, want another, want to run another campaign? Can I have some more, please? <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Oh, it's up here. Okay, let's go around there then. Is that this way? Um, pretty good headset. For a gaming headset, pretty good volume adjustment. My cord is incredibly sensitive. Your shirt, whatever, will catch it and lower your volume a lot. Do you mean you're kidding? Jokes I just got here. Hello, Kraz. How you going? To go. Well, new, absolutely. If you've got the budget for it, I really do recommend looking at a wireless. They're just so good. Like, genuinely so freaking good. No more accidentally, like, Hello! axing yourself when you walk away, forgetting you got the headset on. Hello, Rel, how you going? I'm hearing aids at Bluetooth, my devices, my husband's forbidden headphones purchases. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I mean, that just means you got to enter all the competitions then, right? Maybe get some for free, because then technically it's not a purchase, right? You yourself? Yeah, I'm doing really well. Doing really well. Um, I had a productive day. I'm keeping secrets again, which is always, well, usually a good sign. When I tell people that I have a secret that I'm not telling them about, then it's usually a good sign. I had a, I had a Zoom call today with a person from the industry about 
a potential opportunity that I am being considered for. Um, so th it, it's, it looks like it could be a hell of a lot of fun. Um, it's still, it's all very, very loose, just kind of asking questions and seeing if, if everything's a good fit for each other and all that kind of stuff at this point. There's no, like, yeah, but it's, um, if it, if it goes ahead and if the, if everything's in the right place, if you know what I mean, uh, this could be awesome. Like, really, truly awesome. But we'll see. We'll see! I'm so excited. And I'm sure you lot will be too. I have a feeling there'll be a couple of people who will freak out. Aside so from that, cup size is quite large, doesn't feel heavy on my head. Sound quality is expected from a $150 model. Built in surround sound if you dig into the settings a bit. Less powers and images, wireless stuff. Never worked. Oh, my controls the only wireless things that have ever worked for me. Interesting. Hmm, that's curious. Uh, she's dropping it in. I have a secret. I'm not telling. Leave me alone. No, not leave me alone, but I'm just not going to say anything because it's um not even at the contracting stage yet, you know? Like, it's still trying to feel out if this is something that I'm interested in and if I'm someone that they're interested in and, you know, like, it's a whole thing. But it appears that I am on a very valuable shortlist, so... <laughs> So I am trying to get the podcast going again, and you can come back on it. Brilliant. Except that is exactly what this movie didn't know. <laughs> when, when I can tell you, you will realize how hilarious that statement is, Graz. When I can tell you. Uh, oh, Lord, Lord, just take a little mute button on the call. You know, just sit and I mute myself, or even worse, unmute my... That's the, definitely worse. Can agree. Uh, I'm going to be back in just a moment, guys. Uh, don't go anywhere. Actually, no, do go somewhere. Go to my Instagram page. Button. Run away, little girl. Run away.
Hello. Has anything respawned? I don't think so. Ah. Um. Food to gaming and makeup. <laughs> Having a fantastic day. Oh, I see it. Ah. Words. Yeah, look. It's that way sometimes, eh? ever was. Oh no, crazy. Well, that really sucks. Oh dear. How are we looking, sir? 80 and 67. Still doing pretty well. But, uh... Standing well done, nicely indeed. Indeed. Okay, so we've got one in the pit of anguish. Squeaking noise. Aww. Oh dear. hunting for right now uh bound shade hound secret hunting stream and it's the last secret on my list so i've done all the the bits and pieces up to getting the crafting mats so now i'm going around dousing the vestigian nexuses the little green glowy orb things 
You need 200 dust and 200 slivers. And they don't drop very much. And the, the little green orbs have a really long respawn time. And it's just, it's, yeah. Wowhead reckons it's a four to five hour farm. Like the comments on Wowhead. Um, so I'm doing what I can in the stream. Uh, we're not, I don't, we're not going to get there in 40 minutes. I've been doing this for probably a couple of hours now. I want to say a couple of hours and I'm at 81 and 68. Out of 200 and 200. So yeah, we'll get there. I'll definitely get there. It's not like it's difficult. It's just time consuming. So I'll, I'll be fine. It's just a matter of having time to do it. Which, as we all know, fear is time poor. But look, I've gotten it started now, so that's at least a good start. I don't know what comes after this step. I haven't done any research into it at all, and I think that's half the fun, so we'll see. Hmm. I missed your last secret stream. Sure you're up to. Of course, of course. Uh, last secret stream I got, uh, I did Una's story and then got Baal, and then I got the waste of time. So today I got Jennifer to start with, and then I got the Sun Data Hatchling, and now I'm working on the Bound Shade Hound. So yeah, look, pretty good progress on in, you know, Truth be told, I'm, I'm really happy with how it's going. Uh, after the Bound Shade Hound, the only thing I have left that counts as a secret is getting a tiny set of Warglaives, uh, which is from Demon Hunter's Legion Order Hall, to turn Pepe into a little Demon Hunter occasionally. So that'll be the last thing after this, but um, I don't think... I mean, we might be able to do another secret hunting stream but it'd just be me farming this shit still so I don't think that that's I mean it's been okay so far but I don't think it's super engaging content for more than one stream <laughs> so I might actually have to finish this off uh, off stream I think what I might do is um like finish the farm off stream and then when I've finished it the next Mount Farm Monday I can polish off the rest of the storyline I think, or the rest of the quest chain, I should say. I think that might work quite well in terms of entertainment, uh, but still also completing. And so you guys get to see the end of it, but um, without the boring parts. Because I know that I know that this is boring. I am bored. Uh, <laughs> except, of course, when I accidentally pull things with my butt and almost die. That's not boring. That's just irritating. Um... So it's the time I haven't started it. Ah, it's good. The waste of time was really interesting. It was it was kind of good fun. Exploring areas that I'd never been to before that have been there for years. You know, like it's kind of cool. Ever attempt a sun data or lucid nightmare now I think about it? Uh, yeah, lucid nightmare. Make sure you've got some time. Because the, like, the maze, the maze took me 45 minutes. But there were some people who spent like 12 to 16 hours in there and didn't get it done. But the problem is if you log out or there's a res like a server reset or anything like that, it, it completely wipes your maze and starts you from scratch, no matter how close you were to finishing it. So I would definitely recommend um, like if it's a night where you know that you're going to have some time to do it, then um, yeah, going for it that way. Because I mean, it, sh it like it might not take you too long, especially with the add-ons out there and stuff, to help you plot out your map. But uh, yeah, it just you know, if you get interrupted or someone accidentally yanks a cable or something, it just it completely screws you. Let me get where to open up right now. I've been on it all week now. I can't get out. Oh no, Krazy! I'm so sorry to hear that. Hello, Lucky. Welcome back. Half secret stream, half that cooking game. We played that time. Um, yeah, we played it again after after sur after my second surgery. Chef Squad. I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, 
Chef Squad's a lot of fun. Um, it does decimate my viewer count, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, yep, Val. Surgery. I had two rounds of dental surgery. The first one was to take out a tooth that was just completely screwed. Um, and they put a bone graft in my jaw. Because when they took the tooth out, it left too much of a hole. Um, they couldn't put an implant in. They had to, like, build up the bone so they could get the implant to sit properly. Um, so they did that. And then uh, after four months, I went in for a checkup. And everything was healed perfectly. Uh, and so then... Uh, a month after that appointment, I ended up going back in for my second surgery to have my implant put in. So I currently have a hunk of titanium just here in my jaw. Um, and that's currently healing. We are a couple of weeks, three weeks. Wait, when? We just one, two. Oh, we're not even three weeks. We're two and a half weeks. Gee, this has only been that- it feels like so much longer than that. It's been about two and a half weeks since I had the second surgery. Um, God, it feels like so much longer than that, good lord. Uh, but yeah, so once that's past the four month mark, um, I'll go in and, and have it checked out and tested everything again. And if they're happy with it, uh, they'll pop a post in it and then they'll, uh... I'll put a crown on the post to make it look like a tooth rather than a hunk of metal. Expensive shit, let me tell you. Ah, <laughs> uh, things in your fantasy you've been searching for. Yes, so far so good. So far so good. Aw, thank you, Lucky. I appreciate it. Today's mount was the gruesome flayed wing. Um, I like it a lot. I really like how it turned out. I'm quite happy with it. Alright. Ah. Type a bunch of stuff quick, eventually ran out of people. Yep, Chef Squad. Sounds painful. Um, it was okay. Uh, the first surgery, uh, I had plenty of really strong painkillers and stuff, and that sort of kept the pain away until it had healed enough that there wasn't any pain anymore. Um, it was a bit of discomfort and a bit of swelling and stuff, but I had, like, ice packs and I had painkillers, and eventually Nurofen was enough to keep the pain away. Uh... And then this time around, it got it it got it it's uh, got past the painful part really quickly. Like it it actually healed super fast. I mean, it's obviously still healing in the the depths of it all, uh, but from a like a surface point of view and from like a pain point of view, it was like about a week, and I was fine in terms of the the pain from the surgery. I did have complications the second time around. I had um, some issues. The anesthesia gave me some side effects. Um, when they pop like the tubes and stuff in your throat, they use a laryngoscope, which is like a metal tool that goes down your throat to like hold your tongue out the way and all that kind of stuff. Um, so they can see what they're doing. And uh, that caused some trauma uh, in my mucosal membrane. So I had ulcers all down like around the back of my throat and stuff. So I couldn't like drinking room temperature filtered water felt like swallowing razor blades. It was not good. Uh, so, so that was, that was unpleasant, but that cleared up, it took less than a week for that to sort of, sort of go away. Once I realized what it was and took proper care of it, it, it went away pretty quick. Um, and, uh, yeah, so all, like, so far so good. Uh, they're just kind of waiting on, like, the four months to heal is more so to get the bone to have a proper grip on the implant, so that... You know, let's say the tooth gets knocked, or let's say they put the post in and the crown on it, and then that gets knocked by something, the bone won't just kind of break and shatter and go to shit. <laughs> like, it'll actually hold onto the implant and sustain the hit like an actual tooth would, if that makes sense. Um, and make sure that, you know, crush, uh, like, biting down on things and chewing and, and crackling and all that kind of stuff won't shift the implant in my jaw, because that would be bad. 
That would be bad. Ah, titanium, if you get enough, you can build a plane or something. Yeah, I told my dad that I had titanium in my jaw and he's gone. You've probably got more titanium in your jaw than I have in my motorbike. Um, but yeah, it's about, like, if you've ever taken apart a laptop. Or actually, even a, even a PC. If you've built a computer and you've screwed... Um, you've screwed a motherboard into your case... And the, the, the screws are about like that kind of wide and sort of like that kind of long. It's about half the length of it, but about the same kind of thickness. And the what I can feel with my tongue on top, like it's the gum line and then it's like a disc with a little hole in the middle. So it feels like a screw as well, which essentially it is because <laughs> it's screwed into the bone and then the post screws into the implant and then, yeah, so it's all, yeah. But that's how that's about how big it is. Or it's about how big it feels anyway. I'm probably a little off in that, but there you go. Zam, FPS, Loza, Ben, Fade, Mart, Silver, Channel, and Draz. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Literally a woman of steel. What? Well, technically a woman of titanium. <laughs> Part cyborg is what I've been saying. <laughs> I hope you're going well, Jex. Look it up. Yas. Uh, okie dokie. Place your units. The battle mm -hmm. is upon us. Sorry, that was my water bottle. I'm gonna put the lid on that and put the for a bit because I'm running out of this space. Uh, whoopsie. That's not what I meant to do. Go away. There we go. That was my intention. Yay for bonus laws! Uh, oh, bonus shit is the, is the command you might be looking for. I just realized. <laughs> I thought Koalatron had responded to you under, but it was the stream captain bot. And I was like, oh, oops. What's this one? Bit of anguish. All right, we can do that. Next time we get down there. Uh, oh, you're very welcome, Lucky. Well done, go you. Congratulations. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably need some moral support in a couple weeks when I meet with that marketing manager. I, I feel like I'm gonna go in there and she's gonna be like, okay, so literally everything you're doing is wrong. And I'm gonna be like, okay, good. Thought that might be the case. <laughs> I, I, I hope that, like, I'm kind of expecting that she's gonna be super gentle with me and stuff. And I'm gonna have to say, look, I know that most of what I'm doing is probably wrong. So, like, feel free to tell me. I, I want to learn the, to do the right stuff, not to have my feelings protected. Like, this is all just me winging it with stuff I've learned from the internet. You know, tear it apart. Let's rebuild my social presence. Like, but yeah, it's it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty big, I think. And I just, I really hope that I can take away the right information from that and uh, see some success with it because like I, I don't want to waste her time either I want her to like I want her to feel like the time she spent me with with me was an investment in my brand or whatever and and you know like I don't want her to feel like it was just pointless and yeah yeah Baby toon da 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 baby toon da 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 Sweet away. Banners and pom-poms, yes! Brilliant. Love it. Oh, boogies for me tonight. <laughs> start timers on your phones. Trigger it and then start yourself for an hour, an hour timer. Uh-oh, am I dying? Oh no, I've stopped taking damage. Good. there were things that I had to Another do. Another hydrate. And they went on my to-do list and so I would forget about them. Yay! Who else has a really, really bad memory? Hands up in chat. Ooh, hydrates. Look at stream time. I haven't been doing anything like that tonight. Fair. 
fair. See, I just I just talked to my phone using the name that we all know and love, which I'm not going to say now because it'll trigger her talking to me. And so we start a timer for 60 minutes. And she says, okay. Does it, which is really nice. So what did you ask? Oh, yeah, good. See what you did there. Hey there, what is memory? I forgot. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly it. Apparently it's called Dixa executive dysfunction, and I'm like, I have a to-do list. <laughs> it looks sometimes it works. Oh, it's down there. Ah, oh, you bastards! I really wish stuff did less damage to you as it got weaker. <laughs> so that like if you had 20 things around you but all at like 2% health, you could still survive it. <laughs> it is terrible, it's more medical than intrinsic to me. <sighs> Thought I was wrong once, turns out I was mistaken. <laughs> oh lord. No worries, I see rest well. We will see you next time. Next time being Sunday. Sunday stream. Woo! ATT. Woo! Everyone loves a good chill Sunday stream. Don't we, chat? Don't we? Oh, it's over there. Okay. I wonder if I'm gonna get to like 200, because I know I'm gonna get dust finished before I get slivers finished. At the moment I'm 11 dust ahead of slivers. I wonder if when the dust hits 200, if I'll keep getting slivers. I probably will, and it'll be really annoying. I've got three in my bank of each of them. Where is my gruntling? <laughs> Crap, no, it's still on cooldown. Bugger! Sinuses are angry today. One. 
Well, there you go. I've technically hit a hundred dust. Because I've got three in the bank as well. So that's good. Do you know your stream bit rates? Feels lower than most people. I wonder if it's an upload speed issue or a hardware. Uh, my dashboard says 3907. And OBS. I'm set to 3500, but it fluctuates. 37, 3700, 3500, 3600, 3700, 3500, 3700, yeah. Um, there has been a reported issue with ANZ streamers specifically um, in that the Oceanic Twitch servers are having a time. Remember how I said that I kept having all these random drop frames and everything was going a bit wonky and we've had all those disconnects and stuff? It might actually not have been my router. Um, a lot of other people have been experiencing similar things over the last couple of months uh, to the point where a bunch of people have tickets open with partner support. Um, it's... Yeah. Um, apparently... It's specific to the Oceanic servers though. So if you're watching streamers who aren't Aussie and aren't New Zealand, etc., etc., um, then they won't be experiencing the same issues. But uh, yeah, sometimes. Which might also be explaining why whenever I go to raid somebody, I pull up their thing and three minutes later, I've got a 30 second delay um, because of all the buffering and shit. Um, the delays are just getting huge. And it might be because it's funneling through a bunch of different servers and then to Twitch ANZ and then through to me. Um, but yeah. Mm. I've ended it kind of low, to be honest. Um, I've got it set to that because the problem is, if it's higher, then you're going to have a lot of people with shitty connections who are going to experience a hell of a lot of buffering. And if people experience a whole lot of buffering, then they leave. The higher your bitrate, the more buffering is required and stuff like that. So yeah, if they've got an, a shitty connection, then that's what's going to happen. I used to stream at 4500, I think it was. And I just had so many people complaining about buffering all the time. And I dropped it to 3500 and the complaints completely stopped. Um, and that's what a lot of... Uh, that when, when that was an issue, I was reading a whole lot of guides and stuff, and that's what it said to do, and it's worked fine ever since. Better than just about everyone else, as I've seen. Just check your, um, obviously check your settings and stuff, like your, uh, what's it, um, uh, your, if it's on auto, for example, like the resolution and stuff, because... Like, depending on where you are and all that kind of stuff, it, again, it might just be Twitch's ANZ servers, or it could, you know what I mean? There's there's just so many things it could be. But according to my dashboard, uh, my quality is excellent. My, my bitrate is excellent. Um, um, yeah, look, if, if you want me to experiment with changing a couple of video settings and stuff like that, I'm happy to try it and just kind of see what happens. Uh, but when you're smaller, people will tell you they're having issues with buffering. When you're bigger, they'll just leave. <clears throat> I've got you set to 1080p source and then low latency. Uh, the low latency is my setting. That's what I've got it set to because we do chat. If I have it to normal latency, there'll be more of a delay um, and chat won't flow as cleanly. As is what Twitch has told me anyway. <laughs> good evening, Kay. Hello. Auto is terrible. Look, auto can be good if you've got a if you've got a connection that like fluctuates a whole lot. It can be nice to sometimes like have it go to super awesome when it can and then drop it down when it needs to and stuff. But yeah, I ideally I yeah would get you to set it to um something specific. But you know, not not everyone has. 
Not the ability to set it like that without having having it go uh, poopy. But yeah. As I said, happy to play with things. Um, I just need to know what you want me to play with. <laughs> um, we can have an experiment and see. Small cave below a ledge. What's this one again? I don't think the 10 minute respawn is right. I think it's closer to half an hour. Mm, so, what secret are we hunting? Bound Shade Hound. So I'm at the point, I've done all the other steps and things, I'm at the point where I need to find these green glowy things and douse them and uh, get 200 stitcher dust and 200 stitcher slivers and you get them at a rate of like two or three per orb and the orbs have a ridiculous spawn time and all that kind of stuff. Uh, auto drop down to 720 back to 1080 right after, if I see what happens on YouTube, it's a auto version of 1080's low bit rate, specific settings and things like that are interesting. Hmm. There you go. So from that one I got three dust and one sliver. To to give you an example of how slowly this is moving. But I have hit a hundred stitcher dust, so that's nice. I have three of each in the bank as well. I forgot. I didn't realize I had those. So um, I'll have to grab them at some point too. It's doing well. Yeah. It's look, we've been doing, we've been at this particular part of it for a little while now, a couple of hours, I think. Um, but yeah, Wowhead comments reckon it's like a four to five hour grind. So look, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm, pr I'm basically halfway there, roughly, uh, just short of halfway there. So, um, I'm pretty happy with that progress. Notice that thing when I was doing some editing on your content and sometimes in the middle of some things going on, stream see pixelation and stuff. I thought if the area was higher it looked smoother, just a guess of course. I can definitely experiment with it. Um, I can definitely experiment with it. Uh, the only, like, if, if it starts affecting stuff like uh, Jazz's connection, for example, um, or a clear drop in viewership because too many people are experiencing buffering or something like that, then that would be a thing I'd have to look at, obviously. Um, but no, I'm I'm more than happy to experiment with stuff, especially if there's a chance it's going to make stream better. I'm like, you guys know, I'm always open to feedback and all that bullshit, and this counts as feedback. So for sure, if you... Only issue is, I don't know what I'm doing. So, so if you have a number you would like me to plug into that field, uh, I'm happy to do so and and see how it goes. Uh, but I would not even know where to begin in terms of like picking a new number for the box, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not super good at most of this stuff. I appreciate you, like, I appreciate you looking into that stuff, Sam. Like, it's really awesome of you to do so. I was talking to streamer friends uh, on Tuesday. We had our little meetup thing. Um, and we were talking about how, like, our communities all have these standout people who do 
who have like this little specialty about like what they're really good with doing. Um, and it, yeah, it, it, it means a lot. Like it means a lot that you care enough about my stuff to, do you know, you know, yeah, you know what I mean. You get it. It's an unusual setting for Twitch as far as I know. Interesting, okay. We can try 6k then and we'll see how that goes. I don't think I can change it while I'm live. I can change it while I'm live. Whoa, okay, yep, that changed. Good. Okay, let's see how that goes. See if anything goes kasplat. I'm waiting for the, like, the jump on my dashboard as it jumps from, like, 3,500 to 6k. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, CK, isn't it awesome? We're going really, really well. Video pixel over two to three seconds right after one of the weird blips. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I haven't disconnected. That's step one. Uh, my dropped frames hasn't skyrocketed. That's step two. My CPU usage has... It's gone up a little, but not by much. And WoW seems to be running fine. Just waiting for, for Jas to scream from the other room. What's going on? But that, it shouldn't affect him. <laughs> it should be fine. Let's see how that goes. See what you reckon. Give me some feedback. We'll see how we go, yeah? Maybe give it to like the end of Sunday's stream to see how like it goes over time or whatever. Ah, uh, been over a while, just enjoyed my dinner. Fantastic apathy. Well, welcome on in. I hope your dinner was delicious. Japanese curry sauce. Oh, hell yeah, it is. Golden curry, hell yeah. Absolutely. Ruby and I stuck at home for the next week. Oof, okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you okay? Are you feeling all right? I know what that means. Anyone else? Is there anyone else hanging in chat who hasn't chosen to contribute to the TikTok A Tale for Two stream goal? So TikTok A Tale for Two is a puzzle game. It is available on Steam if you'd like to have a look at it for yourself. Um, it's a puzzle game, but it's designed for two players and each player only gets half the picture or it's not actually like an actual picture, but they like get half the, half the details. So both people have to like talk together and communicate and figure out the puzzles using the information from both screens. And so Jas and I are going to play it and it's going to be hilarious because communication is fun. Uh, so if that's something you'd like to see, if you think it'd be entertaining to watch, click the link below chat. And not the link, goddamn. Click the little purple, uh, what's it, campfire beneath the chat box. And then there's a banner in there that says TikTok a tale for two. And you can click that and you can contribute up to 2,000 embers each and every stream. So you've got today and you've got Sunday left to contribute. If we don't hit 100%, we don't get the stream, but you also get all your embers back. So it is a win-win situation. Either you get them back, or you get the fancy stream. Over chips and chicken nugs. Ooh, yum. We have some weird luck today. One run of Vortex Pinnacle. The man dropped! Congrats, Chris. Well done. Congratulations. It's never weird luck. It's just luck. It's fine. We don't question it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Homewrecker. Like, utter shit a little better than yesterday. Rumi doesn't have it yet. Only a matter of time we don't have a distance house on. Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better super, super soon. That's what it's about. I thought you and Jess are going to recreate TikTok memes. Oh, God, no. Good Lord, no. No. <laughs> it's an actual game. Can I get my embers back? Only if we lose. Only if we don't fulfill it. See actual stream every time I still do it. Oh, crazy! You need to set yourself a reminder. I get all the sauces soaked into the breading. Oh, yum! It's like it's like little mini schnitzels, little mini katsus. It's great. Honestly, just pleased it took this long. Yeah, that's fair. Three days gradually. Oof! Ouch! Yeah, I am. 
Like, I much, 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 much prefer tempura nugs. Like, I am, like, hardcore prefer tempura nugs to breaded. Except for in that situation. In that situation, having the curry sauce, you are better off with breaded. <laughs> Let me, hang on, Zam, I need to show you this. This is hilarious. Um... <laughs> Copy. Uh, general chat and Discord. Actually, I'll, I'll tag you as well. Um. <laughs> like, that jump, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, graphs are fun. Oh, sorry, that was me. That was me. I forgot it was going to make the sound because I didn't save it. I just copied it. now. I'm glad to hear that. Um, super annoying. Oh, I can imagine sneezing a fair bit lately as well, actually. I wonder if I need to dust or something. <laughs> no one else gets the- oof, yep. It's good stream holidays, yay! Hybrid type. Stream health is still excellent, of course. Yeah, that's that's the thing. If it's dropping and if it's dropping out and going all wonky and all that kind of stuff, then yeah, no, we don't want that. Um, but fingers crossed, it doesn't affect people's like connections too too much either. But we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. A comfortable position. Oh, yeah. I just I love the like the like <laughs> no incremental increases here. I have noticed though, like you're, you're right with the, um, when you were talking about editing and stuff, I've noticed that when I've been putting my uh, clips through combo, uh, which is what I've been using to, you know, get the aspects and the blurry and stuff to, to ship them off to Instagram and stuff, it's like some of them have been getting really weird, like really weird looking. Um, not just in terms of pixelation, but just something's not right. It's, it's weird, it's odd. And I was wondering if it was maybe like if I needed to get a premium thing, maybe it's outputting it at a much lower resolution because it's not premium. But then I was like, oh, I don't know. Oof, yeah. It's totally really drained. Look, your body's been your body's been damaged from the inside. Hey, so you, even though you fought off the virus. The virus still did damage, and your body's got to repair it, and so it's got to pull the energy from somewhere, eh? I hope that you're feeling better real soon. I, I kind of... When I was wrecked after surgery number one, I kind of had to, like... One of the things that helped was reminding myself, like, I am drained because my body is fixing itself. My body is doing what it needs to do, and it needs that energy. I need to eat. I need to give it the energy, and I need to, like... You know, just let it do its thing and not get too pissy with it. Cause I, I got really frustrated. Cause I just, I just couldn't do anything. Um, and I imagine you feel much the same. Wasn't hungry at all. Yeah, neither was I. But I'm like, I have to eat because my body needs fuel to be able to grow a bone. But in your case, you know, repair your lungs and repair whatever else it's done. The, the damage to it's yeah. Serious shit, hey. Wasn't hungry. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, wasn't hungry. Gotcha. Understood. There we go. I've look. I'm catching up. I'm getting there. Ah, uh, cooking dinner for boys. I not realize I hadn't eaten since breakfast. Even then, breakfast wasn't much because I wasn't feeling hungry. Yeah. 
But like a good old phlegm chest situation making me feel a little nauseous sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, do do try your best to eat something. Put something in your body so that it doesn't like completely fold in on itself. Um uh, what I actually found was really good uh, post-surgery was, um, I think it's Gippsland Dairy. Um, they have, you know, you know those, like, uh, the yogurt tubs that have, like, the foldy bit with the crunchy stuff um, to, to add to it? Gippsland, I th I'm pretty sure the brand is Gippsland Dairy. They have a massive variety of flavors, and they are goddamn delicious. God damn delicious. One of the ones that I ended up getting was it was like caramelized pineapple upside down cake. It was a like a um fan fan created flavor. Like they, you know, they collaborated with the general public to get a couple of flavors out. Um, but it was like pineapple flavored yogurt, like sweetened, like caramelized pineapple flavored Let me yogurt. Confer with my sources. No. <laughs> caramelized pineapple flavored yogurt and then the crunchy bits had like 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 crumble bits you know like on an apple crumble that kind of stuff crumble bits and bits of little like caramelized white chocolate and all it, oh my god it was fucking delicious and because it was literally yogurt with bits in it it wasn't too di i mean obviously if you have lactose intolerance mother don't um <laughs> but if you're okay with dairy um God, it was tasty. And it, it was just because it, it was cold and it was sweet. So it was like a treat. It, it felt like a treat. And it was just so, so good. And so many flavors. So you get the variety as well. And it's a small enough serving that it doesn't feel like you're eating too much. But then it's a large enough serving that you do actually get some nutrition. And, and yogurt's great. You know, you've got your fats. You've got sugars like carbohydrates. And you've also got a bit of protein. So it's, it's a fairly... A fairly well-rounded food source like that that's my recommendation I'm not a nutritionist I'm not a doctor this is not medical advice but if you're feeling under the weather and you're losing your appetite give them a try because honestly really good. oh yeah they have more than just there's more than just pineapple a lot of them don't have pineapple in them <laughs> Um, strawberry shortcake, or strawberry cheesecake, I think was one. That was really good. Um, they had banana. They had a banana chocolate something something. Um, they had a lime, like a key lime tart, I think. There are like 20 something flavors. They're so good. And they're like four bucks a pot. I know that's a lot. But it is one of those, like, it's it's the square thing about that big and it's about that much yogurt and then the, the crunchy bit on the side. Um, legit recommend for, for when you're feeling sick. Um, the yogurt with flavours. Yeah. Um, I know something we're good at these days. People have their parents work from home, they're fortunate. Likely to contribute to work. Yeah, yeah. I'll find work passages to keep laying down when needed. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Gibson Yogurt Vanilla is my go-to. Gibson Yogurt is phenomenal. I'm I am a uh I am a fan of stuff with bits. Like I <laughs> plain vanilla ice cream, yeah, it's great, like as a side dish, like as in like on hot dessert or something. But I like complicated flavours. I, I like cold rock, I like you Ben and Jerry. I love fish food. Ben and Jerry's fish food with like the chocolate fish and the caramel ribbon and the marshmallow ribbon and then the stuff with cookie dough and blah blah. I like complicated flavors. So the yogurts that have stuff that you can dump in and mix are like, they, they're my shit. That's exactly what I like. Um, and especially when my throat hurt, when I had those ulcers, it did sting a little going down. But the cold really soothed it and all that. It just, yeah, it was really nice to have. And that little bit of crunch, not too much, but just like a little bit of texture. Oh, it helped me from going insane. <laughs> must be like granola with you. Yeah, except if the granola was literally bits of dessert. <laughs> it's not like, I mean, you can get stuff that has like oats and sultanas and things that you mix in. Um, but this is more like chocolate chips and dried apple pieces. They have an apple pie one, which is really good, and like graham cracker crumbs and things like... It's mostly... It tastes like dessert. 
it's got a bit of sugar in it. It definitely does. But I mean, if you're feeling like crap and you're sick, sugar is energy. And your body needs that energy to be able to repair itself. So I'm sure that it's okay. <laughs> as long as it's not like every single day, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, uh, cracking room, I give myself a hernia off. Exactly that. Apart from death, it does sound tasty. Dizzy from time to time. I've cracked it. Fears next collab is with big dairy. Good. Good yogurt has heaps of protein. It does. This is not great yogurt. This is flavored yogurt with mixed in chocolate. So <laughs> this is not your Chobani fix. This is, this is, this is taste. I mean, I mean, not that Chobani fix isn't tasty, but this is like your tasty stuff. Uh, Silver, Draz, Dono, Jason, and Fade, congratulations on your bonus shits. But it does still have a bit of, let me pull up on it, because I put one of them in Fitbit a, bit, a little while ago. Um, let me have a look. I had to put one of them in as a custom food. Uh, right, so their apple pie one. I don't remember what was, I think that was the dried, I think it had white chocolate, dried apple pieces, and graham cracker crumbs and then the yogurt itself was like vanilla flavored or something I can't remember exactly um but it had 259 calories it is chunky but I said you need the energy uh 10 grams of fat 6 grams of saturated fat 101 milligrams of sodium 33 grams of carbs 26 grams of that is sugars and 8 grams of protein so not not a lot not tons but something it's 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 better than nothing it's better than nothing. Um, influencer. <laughs> I'm here for that. Oh, maybe biased though. Abs absolutely. But that's okay. The half price of Woolies right now. It's grocery shopping day tomorrow. Yeah, we're getting some treats. They also do the big tubs too. They do, but they don't have mix-ins. They're less fun. <laughs> Do the eclipse check the stream is a bit right and I was like that's pretty low. Why? And it should be so low, but not that low. Check up with the eclipse and bag. Check up with upper speed. Look the right. So it's just emphasis is on. I think of course, of course. Hey, look. Well, we're trying now, and either it works or it doesn't, and we'll find out in a week or so. We'll see. We'll see if it's better. Hey, I have really appre again. I really appreciate it, Sam. Thank you so much for like helping. I appre like that's awesome. Now I know it is a big dairy because there's a crusty zit on it too. Fewer flavors though. Yeah, that's okay though. Got to all the streamers. Been called lots of things in my life. Seeker streamer is not one of them, but you do stream, Krazy. That's the thing that you do. Therefore, you are a streamer. Not great with yogurt already has stuff. But if it's stuff I add in, I can be on board. Exactly, because it keeps its crunch. Some of the flavors do have bits of fruit through the yogurt base, and then you add crunchy bits. So keep that in mind. Um, but there are quite a few flavors that I think start with like a caramel base or a vanilla base or something like that. So those ones would probably be the ones to go for if you don't like the chunks of, like, you know, little chunks of strawberry through it or whatever. If, you know, if the, blah, blah, blah. does that make sense? Something just went out outside that's not meant to go out. Interesting. Um. Hmm. I is much clearer since you up the bit, right? Good. Noted. Oh, that's good. Just sure that to apply as I was thinking I streamed tonight. Sophia was only wanted to watch instead. Oh, Krazy, I'm so sorry. Uh, we're going to microwave rice pudding. So far, the Tupperware blogs have lied to me as to success. Rice pudding makes husband better when he's sickly. Aw, that's lovely, Ellie. And then D&D &D tomorrow night, Miss NSFW group ever. I mean, as long as you turn the, fil the, um, the filter on. The uh, mature audiences. I mean, depending on in what way they're not safe for work. Ah, uh, it does seem to be a thing I just noticed where stream is not as sharp comparatively. Hmm. Interesting. Cinnamon yogurt, graham cookie, and white chocolate from the pick. Yeah. Yep. Ah, uh, so tomorrow then. It's considerably clear. Yay! All right, chunks being added would distract from the bits already in it. Fair. That's totally fair, Kay. Well, I mean, if you would like to, give me a try. Uh, give it a try. Give me a try. What? I've already tried it. Give it a try and let me know what you think. This is absolutely not affiliated or sponsored or anything in any way. God damn, I wish. Actually, I will tell you. It's the end. Of oh, it's the end of stream as well. I need to show you the, I need to give you a sneaky peek of tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's, what's it? Um, but I will tell you, I do have a new affiliate program as of like today. Um, and I haven't done any 
thing with it yet because I haven't had any time because I literally confirmed it today. Um, but do you remember? Hang on, let me let me go through, let me catch up on chat and then we'll talk because I feel like chat's gonna explode a little bit. Uh, so good, the fair, fair. Uh, grab some for me. Okay, right, of course, because yes. Um, I wonder if you can get it delivered. You can like, because they leave it out on your door and then like step away and then you can open the door and grab it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, quick chat, add more stuff now. Ooh, um, so you guys, we're not having any more battles, um, BT dubs, because that's it for the day. Um, but you guys remember when um, I bought myself my birthday present and I had gorgeous curly hair and I was like, it's the Wailera Dreamwave, not sponsored, wish it was. Well, <laughs> you can use code Fiyama to get 20 bucks off your own. <laughs> I reached out to them and I said, hi, I'm from Twitch. Do you know what that is? And they said, no, but here's a code anyway. So I, um, yeah, I, I took the initiative and I, I went and got myself a code. So, uh, yeah. Influencer! Yeah. Bloody hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, we've got, we've got a thing coming up. This, uh, we've got a, a goal coming up. The one on the 18th onwards, the makeup and nails stream. So if that's successful, during that stream, when I do my makeup and we do the nails and everything, I'm also going to grab out the Dreamwave and do like a, an on-stream demonstration of how it works and how easy it is and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we have to succeed on the channel point goal, but if we do, then I'll do all that and then I can grab that chunk and like content and yeah. So um, you get $20 off if you use the code Fiamma. And I get 10 bucks for every purchase made. So there you go. Can we get it? Thank you. And I'm hoping, um, do let, they don't have a, most of the affiliate programs that I'm a part of have like a, a thing where we can track who's made, like how many sales we made and stuff like that. They don't. They let you know at the end of each month if you've made any sales. So please do let me know if you use the code or if you give the code to somebody and they use it, I'd, I'd really like to know because I have no other way to check. <laughs> so I'd, I'd really appreciate um, you letting me know. But uh, yeah. I guess I made my beard all wavy. Yes, that'd be amazing. Amazing. Thank you, Chaos. You can edit your order. You can up until a certain point. You can edit your Lily's orders up until a certain point. I was gonna say, there's a mustache attachment. <laughs> Oh, and that dippy fingernail stuff from that comp do so do I, right? Oh my god. I figured you'd be okay with me tagging you. <laughs> so I if if I ever get annoying, like tagging you in competitions, then please let me know. But um I figured you'd appreciate that one. So, <laughs> so my ones do not recommend. Oh yeah, look, beard hair tends to be pretty thick and coarse and it straightening doesn't go so well. It just kind of fries it. It's a bit straightening combs, never bothered. Thanks again, please take care. You too, nurse, you too. And have half the flavor. Oh, bugger. Bugger. You're always okay. Noted. Just sitting here in the corner eating crayons, waiting for your Logitech code. Me too. I mean, apart from the eating crayons bit. Um, <laughs> they don't fit in my macros. I'm kidding. Um, but no, I'm I'm waiting and I I asked again and they said not yet, but that's that's okay. It is what it is. We're just patiently waiting. Um uh, when's raid right on your schedule? May, actually. Um, I realized that I hadn't been so what I've got for Wednesdays in May is basically um, like ZM completionist stuff up until when raid starts and then raid like each Wednesday. There might be one or two where I have to shuffle things around. I'm not too sure yet. It relies heavily on the secret Zoom call I had today. Um, but I'm, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Uh, Logitech code, not yet. Unfortunately, not yet. I'll just buy them anyways. How was it? Oh, Rel. Tag them. Tag Logitech G underscore ANZ on Twitter and then like, and tag me as well because they read their tweets. They, they absolutely read their tweets and they refer to all, they, they, they reply to a lot of them too. Uh, affiliate discounting code possibly someday. Yeah, they're working on it. They want to give us affiliate codes, um, but they're still kind of back end working on stuff. So I don't have one yet. 
Um, but schedule um, and code for armor for Dreamwave, and I'm going to show you. No, remove that. Yes. Um, I told you that if you hung around, that I would give you a sneaky peeky of the image that's going live. Actually, I wonder if this will. I'm wondering if Twitch will get angry at me. Because it's not in any way lewd or anything, but it is an underwear ad. I think it's going to be safer for me to not. I will put it in Discord for you. I think it's going to be safer for me to not. Uh, I just don't, I don't want to put myself at risk. Um, uh, keep in mind, uh, Raid now runs one hour past regular stream and oh well, I guess people will get one hour extra of stream. However, will they cope? <laughs> ah, Lord. Ah, that's what you meant. April 11, I foresee lots of mounts. Do you? Why is that? by mine? Yes, good. Like the Twitter tag, you both in, which was neat. Yes. Yeah, they're they're super interactive on their Twitter. They have a really good Twitter team, like a social media team. Has a pet too. Yes, absolutely. Wavy hair photo shoot. Probably, yeah. Uh, probably. I need to get Jas in. Uh, I finished my house with a wife. Pay once I get my ones. <laughs> That's super cute. It's like all my legit keyboards and mice in a pile and get a photo. Oh, hell yes, channel. Absolutely. Don't risk a thing. Yeah, don't do it if there's a risk. Well, that's the thing. I'm not sure. I, I just, I just don't know. And sometimes it is better to be safe. Even if you're, if it's like a super cautious thing. Should I stream heck yeah? I know, right? How will we cope? Since I could date more than anything. Yeah, fair. Fair. Uh, I was trying to work out a little puzzle that you tweeted about. It took me under an hour, but I'm a, you know, you know me, you know me. I'm a puzzle person. Uh, I'm stuck on it. <laughs> you finally watch Raid and learn the Raid. Potential, I mean, Krazy should be streaming Raids, but look. Look, anyway, I need to get offline because I should get some sleep. Um, This button, please. Let me my COVID brain. <laughs> Seven hours stream spring. No! Oh, wait, yes, it is seven. Jesus, math is easy, sure. <clears throat> um Where? Um, yeah, all right, we're gonna do this. Excuse. We can finish at you too, Chaos. You too. I'm gonna see y'all on Sunday. Um Bam. Alright, grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, either which are perfectly fine, you can still copy and paste the entire message, replace the Fiamma Hype with your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote, and drop it into Closure's chat when we get there. Closure says he's playing Elden Ring, but he's absolutely not playing Elden Ring. He's streaming in the incorrect category. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna see you on Sunday for Transmog Hunting, Monday for Mount Farm Monday, Wednesday for Mage Tower, and Friday for Legion Time Walking. Um, I hope to see you there. I really do. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I'm gonna see you on Sunday. Don't forget to check the socials tomorrow night. 9.30ish for Twitter, 10 p.m. ish for Instagram. I would much appreciate all of your positivity and like stuff. 
there. You'll see why when I post the image in Discord. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you on Sunday. All love. Mwah. Bye, guys.